Boy Birdie NYC, if you know me, you know me, and if you don't, now you do. Get to the fucking bag, chase your fucking dreams. Get the fuck up every day and do what it is you gotta do. Waterfall effect, you know those songs already, so you're gonna tap in. Yeah. And it's gonna lead you to that song, so it's like it's like you're leaving a trail behind. You what I'm oh saying? my god! Yeah, so no, that's actually, game. That's game. You feel me? That's some game right there. That's, that's a little gem. Game, bro. So this record actually means a lot to me. Uh, it's from a true story. Um, I've re I'm, 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 I guess you could say I'm going through a heartbreak. Do you think you're the best artist in your city? Respectfully, that's not up for debate. So what's going on, family? It's to the top, Chris. Feel me back at it again with another level up interview, man. This is another great episode with another special guest. Boy, Birdie NYC. If you know me, you know me. And if you don't, now you do. Now you do. <laughs> Let's get it, man. We're with one of the best up and coming artists in the industry. Yes, right now. sir. It's an honor to be here, bro. That's it's love, an honor bro. to be here, bro. I appreciate you. Real bro. talk. He's collaborated with celebrities, is extremely versatile with creating music in both English and Spanish. And he just dropped his new single. Vuelve a verte. Man, thank you for your time, brother. Nah, of course, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. You feel me? I really do appreciate let's it, bro. Go. the world, bro. Let's go. Hey, before anything, let's get started, man. Let's start off with where are you from, both ethnic and state-wise? Okay, so <laughs> a lot of people ask me this one. All right, so I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican. Um, more Dominican than I am Puerto Rican, and I'm more tapped into like the Dominican side of my family. Right. Um, state wise, so this is where it gets a little tricky. I was born in New York. Mm. I lived in New York for 11 years. Then I moved to Jersey, and now I got 13 years in Jersey. Mm. Um, while living in Jersey, I did school in both states. While doing school in Jersey, I was always going to New York. So honestly, wherever, wherever y'all want to say I'm from, I'm from. You got know what I'm saying? No, 100%. shout out to shout out, you know, to my people from NY, from the Bronx. And shout out to my people in Jersey. I love them both the same, you know? How was your life in New York while you were living over there? Um, Honestly, bro, yo, first off, because it's you, Chris, I'm going to be real transparent. Ooh, on the interview, hey, bro, bro, this bro. is exclusive. This is exclusive I'm gonna right here. I'm going to be real transparent, bro. Appreciate so, you. Um, <clears throat> life in New York was actually pretty difficult, as expected. Mm. Um, I'm going to say something on this interview that really only family knows. Mm. Um, I lived in a shelter for two years while living in New York. Uh, shit, jumped from a lot of schools, moved around a lot, you know. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings, for sure, for sure. You know, Mom Dukes did what she had to do, though, try her best, you know, with raising us and all that. So, but yeah, it was, it was what you'd expect it to be. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming from a family that doesn't have much, but I'm appreciative of that. Hundred percent. Because it made you the it man that you are. It made me who I am today, for sure. Yeah. And you would say that, and this is the thing that I like, this is the one thing that I like about when people come from humble beginnings. You got, you're creating one of the best stories to be made for the world right now, right? For those same people that was in the show just right next to you, you're becoming an inspiration yourself. Right, right. You feel that's, me? That's the plan. So, and that's why I respect that shit the most, right? When you're coming from nothing and you don't let your environment dictate your path. You feel me? He saw, he, you saw where he came from. He's, he knew where he came from, but he was like, nah, I want better than this. And now I was in the steps in pursuing that same thing. 100%. That's bro. respect, bro. 100%. That's respect. I appreciate it, bro. Let's go. So, how does New York impact the way you create music? Um, I have a lot of inspiration from New York. I mean, New York is basically like the home of hip hop, you know? Mm. Um, the world's, a lot of the world's most influential artists in the hip hop game came from New York. You feel me? Just to mention a few Biggie, Nas, you know, a lot of artists. Um, my biggest inspiration, you know, you know, you've known me for a couple years now. For sure. You know, I used to before I got into like the melodic rapping, I used to I was big on like lyrics and like hard rap, like hard, hard rap. You feel me? The the freestyle, the freestyles and all bars, you feel me? Mine, I'd say was Jada and my biggest, biggest was Davies. Mm. Like I was like I was like a die hard Davies fan. If you know, you know, you feel me? Um, so yeah, coming from New York, bro, there's a lot of inspiration all around, you know, apart from the environment that you grew up in, the music, the, you know, the soul in the music yep. and all of that, bro. It's yep. a lot, it's a lot of sasong, bro. You feel me? It's Hell a lot of yeah. souls that, Hell yeah. you know, I, I carried on, bro, for sure. So it definitely, it definitely has a big influence in how the way you big, make music. Very for big sure, influence, right? for sure, bro. Yes. Mm. All right. So do you think you're the best artist in your city? Respectfully, that's not up for debate. Ooh. 
Oh. And I'm gonna say it on camera. Respectfully, that's not of the. Uh, that's 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 not a. It shouldn't big. even be a question. That's not even a question. Coming out the city, I'm the hardest coming out. My city that I live in right now, I'm the hardest coming out the city. Stamp. Stamp. No, no if ands or buts. No, let's talk about it. No, I'm nah. <laughs> that's that's stamp. But whatever, I'm gonna keep it humble. I'm not even gonna say no more. I'm not gonna say nothing. Nah, else. talk your shit, bro. Nah, talk I'm your good, shit, bro. <laughs> they know what's up, bro. You know, you know, bro. How did your journey begin as an artist, right? Did you ever think you was gonna make it to this level? Um, so first off, I'm nowhere near where I wanna be, mm. right? You know, I got a long way to go, but I am grateful of where I am and where I have made it to. Um I truthfully no, I I didn't see myself, you know, where I am today. Um, I never thought to take music seriously. Yeah. Um, Why is I that? A, I had a, it just, I don't know, bro. Truthfully, I had league dreams, bro. Every, every you know how it is, bro. Yeah. Everybody got the league dreams. You feel me? And then <clears throat> I always, used to, I, I had a love for music though. My grandmother still has like VHS tapes in her crib what? of me like rapping 50 when I'm like five, six years no old, bro. Way. No, I'm a, I gotta get those for sure, for sure. But um, I started making music. Like I, my friend group would tell me like, "Yo, make music, make music." And then my closest cousin, you know, Ivan, um, always used to tell me, used to be in his crib, like I just put on a beat, like, "Yo, birdie rap, yo freestyle, yo this, yo that." Yo. <laughs> I even recorded some freestyles some as well. Legendary ones, you legendary told me, ones, and. He just, he motivated me along with others. Like, bro, you should really, like, I, I, I see talent in you, bro. And um, I ended up not playing basketball, you know, uh, had a little situation with, with, with the coach and the team. And um, I was like, fuck it. Why not try music? Why not try music? Because you were just trying to just explore your options, right? right? Yeah. And then um, I feel like I met a lot of dope people, um, super, super dope people. Um, and the experiences that I have been able to, you know, experience through music have yep. been amazing. But um, yeah, bro, for sure. Music, I love music, bro. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. Like I talk about music, like, a, I love it. Like I feel you like got a passion soul. for it. Yeah, bro, it's different. For real. Did you ever think about giving up and what made you stay back on track? Bro, right now, bro. Mm. Right now. Like as it's like, that, it's I, like I, that. It's 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 like you know why, bro? I feel like unfortunately a lot of talent and not only music but sports and in a lot of different fucking mm-hmm. aspects of like in all these industries all these different industries yeah like you say industries bro there's a lot of talent that goes unnoticed mm-hmm. and it sucks because the talent is there it's just the lack of resources you know that complicates everything bro it could be lack of money lack of connections yep. lack of time you get what i'm saying yep. so that is just it, it impacts it, it, it. Imp- it's, it's difficult, bro. It's difficult. Um, all the time, bro. I've thought about giving up, bro. To be quite honest with you, bro, when you feel like, yo, I got what it takes, but nobody recognizes that. You got what I'm saying? And the people that do recognize that, unfortunately, don't have the means to help me. You got what I'm saying? So to it's lend like, a hand, yeah, yeah, bro. So then you start getting your head, like, yo, is it like, do I think this of me? But this isn't really what it is. This isn't how the people see me. Am I really as good as I think I am? You get then you start, you know, double checking, yeah. double checking, and it just leads to like self destructing, bro. To be honest, but um, you know, it's a journey, bro, and you just gotta fall in love with the process. This is a part of it. This is what comes with it. With anything, it is that you're just starting up in. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, bro. I'm just like I said. I'm just starting to fall in love with the process. So even when I do feel like giving up, I remind myself like, yo, you've made it. Farther than a lot of people who are, average, you know, than the average who's. But um, yeah, you know, you've made it a lot farther than people who are just starting. Or there's people who would love to be in your position. Facts. You got know what I'm saying? So just be appreciative of that and keep going. Right, and you know, it's one thing too is like Jersey is so slept on. Soup, bro. There's actually a lot of talent in Jersey, bro. Right, bro, right. Bro, on the sure. in the basketball lane, in the music lane, right, and all these industries that he was just talking about, like Jersey's so slept on. But you, little do you know, we're actually one of the hottest around. I think so. I think Real so. Yeah. Shout out to Jersey. Shout bro. out to Shout Jersey. Jersey got a lot of talent, for sure, for sure, for sure. I agree. Okay, so how do you deal with the hate and negativity in your journey, bro? To be quite honest with you, it's as simple. It's as simple as just ignoring it, bro. Like that's what. Who was it that said? I think is is French. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't pop. You ain't pop. Like, and that's just that's just really what it comes down to, bro. Like 
you not doing nothing right, bro. If you don't got somebody, don't got somebody hating on you, bro. And that apart from that, people are gonna hate just cause you fly than them. You this more than them, better than them. You you got what I'm saying? So you just gotta learn how not to feed into it, bro. I'm on some like super positive shit recently, bro. So I just I don't even feed into that shit. You don't even give it energy yeah, at the time. I don't huh? even, yeah, bro. Because like, like, it's not even worth it. Bro, what do you get out of it? Nothing bro? at all. Knowing that I got haters and hearing negative shit about me is like, ah, I'm doing something right. And that's what keeps me motivated. Right. And it's like a fuel, right? It's For sure. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You know, keep on going and shit. Unfortunately, some people are just, I don't want to say weak minded, but you got to have some sort of discipline to not feed into that shit. Because at agree. some point in time, I was feeding into it. Um, because the hate, the hate can get contagious. The negativity course, can get bro. contagious. You know, and then you just, I guess, outgrow that space. Yeah. And it's just, it gets to a point where you're just like, all right, whatever. Like, it comes with it. It's part of the game. Like, I'm good. Like, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Look right. at it as constructive criticism. Constructive if criticism. Anything, you Facts. feel me? Like, just turn the negative and look at it as a positive. Bro. Mm. Just flip it around, for sure. For sure, yo. Yeah. That was good. That was yeah. good. All right, so who or what inspires you? Um, damn, bro. Like, artists. Like, my biggest inspiration. Like, artists. Artists, artists yep. Um, and, and also people on a personal level. People on a personal level, yeah, because I, I kind of already tapped into like the artist. Um, personal, bro, my my people, you got what I'm saying? The people, my team, the people that I got around me. Um, and they're not rich and famous, mm. but they're motivated and hungry. Mm. And is that is that all that matters? A hundred percent. A hundred. In my in my opinion, yes. You know, having a team that supports you. A team that's as hungry as you yep. and a team that motivates you is, I think, the key to succeeding in anything, in anything. And to tell you the truth, bro, I might be the laziest out of my team, bro, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, bro. I'll be calling my people, yo, what you doing? Oh, I'm recording content. Oh, I'm doing this. Yo, get up, yo, let's shoot some content. Shout out Madrid, you feel me? Shout out Brazy. Like, so um, they always on my back. Like, yo, you right. got to do this. And then I get into my little zone, like ah, I bet, yeah. And then I have my lock days, in, I'm like, lock in. I'll lie and be like, nah, I gotta go, I gotta go do this. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they gonna be on my ass after this video. But, um, yeah, bro, definitely my team. Um, but that's that's why that's how you gotta have it. hundred percent. That's what I think, right? Like if if your team is not moving at that pace, right? It's a great thing that you're the one that's lacking yeah, behind, bro. right? Yeah, bro. You don't want to have it be the other way around. Nah, hell no. Because, right? man, you, you got to, you feel me? Where are you getting your motivation from? You got what I'm saying? You the one doing the motivation. So, I feel like it's, it's equally, it's, it's balanced within the team. You know, everybody's pushing everybody to be the best that they can in whatever it is that they're doing. And everybody's doing something different. Right. That's that's the best thing about it. So, there's no... Everybody has their own role. There's no, yeah, there's no animosity. There's no... Cause we all do different shit. You right. feel me? I do music. They do their camera shit. You know their food content. Create every producing is a, is is a whole bunch, bro. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of sauce in there, bro. Within the group, you feel me? Right. Yeah. The recipe is how you come out with the food. Right. You feel me? You know the vibes. Let's go. I know in the beginning you started off creating music in English, right? So what made you transition into making music in Spanish? And how has that been for you so far interacting with that community slash audience? Um. So. I feel like, you know, what happened with, with, with the English music is that the um the English community is really saturated, bro. Mm. I feel like. And I started to feel like the music that I was making was sounding like a lot of other artists, established artists, because I guess I was just... It was just the same sound around me. Like, I feel like so many artists sound the same or very similar. And it was artists who I was listening to all the time. I feel like we all listen to the same artists in English. Same rotation, yeah. It's a very few. It's very few artists in English who, you know, have like a really big, Good sound. you know, like yeah. So, um, and I just feel like that separates me from a lot of people, bro. That I can make music in both languages very fluently. That's versatile. You got what I'm saying, bro. A lot of people can't do that. It's either I make English music or I make Spanish, or if they do do both. One language is sounds better than the other. Yep. You got what I'm the saying? The fluency and the fluency have, in both. I have I'm very fluent in both English and like super fluent in both English and Spanish. But if I wanted to never talk English again, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> if I never wanted to talk Spanish again, I wouldn't have to. That's a flex. You got what I'm saying? So I was just like, yo, I had to sit back, 
Go back to the drawing table. Yep. What separates me from them? Oh, shit. I'm fluent in this, this. I could do this. All right. Let me tap into that. Mm. So And created your own lane. And created my own lane. You know, trying to create my own lane. Um, So want to give a shout out to NTG, who's, I mean, you feel me? He's he's also tapped into that to that lane right to now. that lane you know, too, right? Yeah. So, you know, trying to see if I could, you know, set the tone. Set the tone. Yeah. I like that. So, yeah, how's it been, like, with that community and that audience? Like, are they liking what you're putting out? Are they, you know, are they rocking with you? So, I can't really tell simply because I made the, I made the transition, but I've only put out, I just recently put out my second Spanish record. You got what I'm saying? Still early. But, yeah, it's still early in the stages, but based off of the first record that I put out, I definitely got a lot of love. Let's go. Um, Let's I go. noticed that the Spanish community... Shows a lot more love. Yeah. There's a lot less hate. There's no. There's a lot less competition. You feel me? It's like yo, you fire, you fire. They give you flowers. They give you people their flowers. flowers. You feel me? While you're still alive. You got That's what the I'm most saying? important part. So That's the most important part. They still. They still. You know. They give the flowers. You know. They don't wait like you said. You know. So you go on. So um, I think that I'm 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 headed in the right direction, bro. And I'm excited to see what this you know transition brings, bro. Mm, I hope it brings a lot of fruit, my brother. I appreciate you, bro. For real, for real. Let's go. Do you prefer making Spanish music over English music, and why? Um, I don't prefer. I don't prefer one over the other. Um, I, I, I just, I love music in general, bro. If I could make music in fucking monkey language, I would, bro. <laughs> like, I just love the process of making music, bro, and. Whether it comes out in, I don't go in, I don't go to the studio or I don't sit and lock in and be like, today I want to make a Spanish song. Right. Nah, I just, if you know me, you know, I don't usually write. Mm -hmm. You got what I'm saying? I just go and whatever comes out, whatever flow, melody, Spanish, English comes out, then I'll stick with that. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a feeling, bro. Oh, okay. Music is music is more about feeling, bro. It's not really. Oh, I prefer this one over the other. I mean, for me at least. Okay. Yeah. So I like well, I like what you just said right there. So. This is a two-part question. How did you get so fluent in Spanish, right? Being that you were living here for most for the majority of Born your life, here. and also how is it that you how how is it that you're able to create music without writing and, and let your creativity just flow out just like you know naturally? Yeah. So um, Spanish is actually my first language. Oh. Yeah. Spanish, yeah. Yeah. Spanish is my first language. Um, I was born here in America, but um, my mother uh. Being that my father, that, like he don't talk no English, um, you had to adapt. You got what I'm saying. So we were raised um, talking only Spanish in the house, and my mom looked at it like, "You guys are gonna learn English anyways, cause y'all gotta go to school. So, shit, you might as well just learn both. Right. Talk Spanish in the house, English right. at school. You got what I'm saying. You got the yeah. most of both worlds. Um, and you know that was that. As far as like being able to just like not write, bro. Yeah, I don't even know how to answer that, bro. Yeah. To be honest, because it's, it's just so that's natural. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, it's it's feeling, bro. Like, music is feeling, bro. There's, for example, there's times where I go, I'll try to tell myself before I go to the studio, like, I'm gonna make a song about this, or not about this, but this is the theme of the song. You got what I'm saying? And yeah. there's like, you go in and you might not do shit. I might start writing and make so make a banger, cause I write sometimes. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody has. It's like with. You know, it's what comes with. You got what I'm saying? Yep. You feel me? So, um, I think that's just a God given talent, bro. Ooh. <laughs> when God gives you a gift, you gotta, you gotta use it. You feel me? I think that's just a God given talent, bro. A lot of people don't have that. It, it takes a lot. It does take creative, creative, creativity. Um, you got what I'm saying? And I think I just, like I said, I was blessed with that, bro. I was just, you know, blessed with the talent to be able to just get behind the mic and just, just rap. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, sure, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. It's it's great that um, you know when you're good at something is when you're like at that level with it, right? right? That you're right. able to just to create without it, like with it being effortless, right? Right? Not even putting too much work into it, just knowing that this is what I do, right? Right? So this, you were meant for this, bro. Right? Like, you were just so. real life meant for it. If, <laughs> if it's so. like that, if you've been given the gift to just go on the mic, not have no preparation behind it, just straight feelings and emotion and just your thoughts, right? That's a blessing, bro. I think so, bro. I, blessing, and I, bro. you know, I thank God for it every day. You know, yeah. shit is a process, but yeah. And listen, and if you don't use it, you are gonna lose it. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I like that. I, I like that. You gotta get your reps, I in, bro. Like that. Ten thousand sure. shots. Ten thousand shots for sure, bro. Yo, that's crazy. 
honestly, I think that plays a part, bro. Yeah. Yo, that definitely plays a part. Me thinking, thinking about right, it. Right? Yo, that's wild, bro. I never thought of it. Like, bro, practice, bro. Practice, practice does make... Pr this is a craft, bro. It's a craft. And you got to, you know, continue at your craft in order to perfect it. So 100%. For everybody out there who got a craft, you know, put up your 10,000 shots. Put up your 10,000. Your 10,000 reps. J. Cole, I actually saw a little Shout um, out to J. Cole. Interview. Shout out to Cole, bro. For yo, nah, that's a goal. One of the realest, yeah, nah, bro. That's a go. That's a go. And I used to be a J. Cole hater. Yo, for I real? Lie. What yeah. transition do? I ain't gonna lie, I used to not like him because Shorty think he cute. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So I used yeah. to be tight. I used to yeah. hate, I ain't gonna lie, but you gotta you I gotta respect Gotta him. respect. Yeah, bro. His pen is different, I ain't gonna lie. Um I saw him like an interview, he had said something about um like every day he would try to wake up and write anything. Mm. Didn't have to make sense. Didn't just anything, bro. Just mm. write something and that correlates with like the put that's a rep, bro. That's, that's a rep. Every day he woke up and he did as many you feel me, even if it was just a sentence, but that's one sentence closer to closer to perfecting your craft. You so true. Me? So true. So yeah, for sure, bro. Put up them shots, get them reps in, you know, work at mastering your craft for sure. So true. Do you recommend any artists to do the same if they're fluent in both languages, even if it isn't Spanish? And why so? Um, I think I do recommend it uh, because you open the door to an entirely different market. In whatever, whatever languages it is that you're fluent in. You feel me? In my case, not only can I connect to people who only speak English, yeah. but also people who speak Spanish. Exactly. You got what I'm saying? And... Another thing that was like really big for me was being able to connect with my people. Mm. I'm Dominican, you feel me? Yeah. So you gotta represent my family who don't speak English. It's like, damn, they want to support me, but how can they if they don't understand what the fuck I'm saying? That's so true. <laughs> you That's feel so me? True. So That's so true. You wanted to bridge yeah, the gap. Yeah, you got what I'm saying. So I had to figure out a way. Like, okay, how can I bridge the gap? You yep. feel me? And it was that way. Like, yeah, my younger cousins, my cousins my age speak English because they went to school here, but. How about my older cousins, my aunts, my uncles? I want to tap in with you. They can't because they, they didn't understand what the fuck I was saying. Yep. The video look fly, you look fly, but what are you saying? True. How can I How can I send your video in the WhatsApp group chat <laughs> to your family in DR? If that, you got what I'm saying? So I was yeah. like, yeah, nah, I definitely got to bridge that guy, bro. And, you know, so to anybody who, you know, if you speak multiple languages, um, open that door. That, yeah, yeah, open that door. Incorporate that. Like, people, that's... Also making a connection with people, with, with, with you know, the audience. Right. Um, like I said, being wherever it is that you're from, they feel that they can relate to you. They have they have somebody they can root for. You're from where they're from. Or oh, I'm going to root for him because he's Dominican. Let's get it. Dominican's on top, an example. You got what I'm saying? So definitely, um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Yo, shout out to all the Dominicans, man. Yeah, shout out, shout shout out, out to, to my DR, people. Our homeland, you feel me? Shout out me? to my people. Let's That's go. the motherland for real. Shout, shout out, out to, to the people. island, bro. No cap. So well, now that we're in 2024, right, what has changed about the music industry? What are some things that you like, don't like about it? Let me, what's your take on that, brother? Damn, bro. <laughs> it's full of fakes, bro. Ooh. You know, Ooh. that's the sad let's, reality. Let's talk about it. Let's talk that's about it. That's the sad reality of it, bro. Um, Me, for example... I keep shit strictly business. Okay. Because I learned the hard way that people are fake friendships with you and reap the benefits out of you, feel me? Just leech until leech. you dry, you got nothing more. And it's like, all right, bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? And not because they did that to me, but I witnessed that shit happen to a lot of people. Yeah. And I have people in the industry, shout out to my brother D-Lo Beats, um, Multi platinum producer just got up, just to went Dilo. platinum. If I'm not mistaken, with Mike Towers two days ago. So shout out to my brother. You feel me? Um, you feel me? Seeing the way he moves and he knows it. I, I tell him all the time. He's like, he's my age, but he's it's crazy. He's like a big bro to me, and not cause of what he has, but what he's accomplished. And mm. he's made it in the industry to somewhere that I want to make it to. Without having to kiss ass, without having to bend over for somebody else, you feel me? Organic, organic. Genuine. That's that's all for genuine love. Him surrounding himself with the right people, um, you know, having the right team around him. Um, and yeah, bro, it's 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 dangerous, bro. It's dangerous. It's, it's pretty sticky. Is is yeah, it gets sticky, sticky, bro. Yeah, for sure, bro. So I just I try to maneuver properly. You got what I'm saying, and keep it keep it short and simple, simple, high and buys. 
And if it's business, it's strictly business. You got what I'm saying? You don't bring the personal into it nah, at all, Nah, right? never, bro. No emotion, no nothing. It is what it is, bro. You, you got to take shit for what it is. Right. Take shit for what it is, bro. You Emotions to the side. Let, bro, people will always show you who they are, bro. Mm. People are always going to show you. You don't got to go so searching, asking. People are always going to show you their true colors and who they really are, bro. And no emotions involved, bro. You just got to take them and accept them for what they are, bro. Whether you decide to finagle with them or not, it's up to you. No cop. And what are some things that you do like about it? Um, So, damn, bro. Is that hard? It's hard, bro. Damn, it's bro. Because it's just, it's stick, like, it's just, it's, it's a business, bro. It's, it's not a, it's, <laughs> Yo, it's dangerous, wild. bro. It's that dangerous. It's Damn. dangerous, bro. It's dangerous, bro. What's to like about it? Me, per maybe I haven't made it to a point in my career where I could name you things that I like about it. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm early in the stages, but from what I've seen, what I've heard, it's always negative things, bro. Unfortunately, bro. The what? business, the business, the business, the business, itself. Business, the yeah, business, the business itself. itself. You got what I'm saying? Is is unfortunately it's it's just it's ass, bro. How did the music industry get so corrupted? Yo, you know what's funny? I have no idea, bro. Really? I literally don't know. Like, I I, I guess, shit, bro. They really take the business is business thing, like, really, really, like... Serious. Serious, to bro. To the T. Like, super to the T. And what adds on to that is that everybody's in it for themselves. Everybody's in it for themselves, bro. Everybody, Selfishness. You got and, what I'm saying? And greed, right? Greed. Greed, 100%. You Ego. Because it's... A lot of money, bro. It's bro. There's Flown a in, lot bro. of money in the industry, bro. That's just circulating, and so all of that, bro. You know, humans by nature, bro. We're selfish creatures, bro. Like that is a true statement. By nature, bro. By nature. You get what I'm saying? So then you involve money, you involve emotions, yep. and there's all these other factors, and it just it's an ugly world, bro. Ugly you world, get sticky, damn. bro. Facts, yeah, bro. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hopefully, you know, it could change and there could be a positive impact on it. One but day. as of right now, that's, it, got a, it got a nasty yeah, underbelly. Right now, yeah, yeah. It got a nasty underbelly it's right bad, now. bro. Because on, on the front cover, things look great. It looks sweet. Right? It looks but sweet. But on the back end? Nah. Nah, it's a lot of shit going on in the back, bro, in the back end. Bro, for real, for real. God damn, bro. bro cop. Is it easier to come up now because of platforms like TikTok with the use of like trending sounds and things like that? A hundred percent. That's something that I'm trying to master. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I've seen a lot of artists, uh, you know, pop off because of TikTok and whatnot. Okay. But there's a downside to that. And the downside is that you, somebody who who gains, um, you know, clout or virality, right? Virality, yep. virality. Yep. You know, so fast with just one record. Might not be able to give you another one of those records. One hit. Wonder. You feel me? Yup. So what happens with that is, yeah, I popped off off this song. You never seen money in your life. They come off you. Don't know how to act. A bag. You like, shit, it's life changing money. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people gonna take it. You take it. You blow the bag. And you can't give them another record. They haven't recouped their bag. Because for those of you who don't know... If you're not a bad bunny or a Drake in this music game, you owe that money. That money ain't yours. That's a loan. I'm going to lend you this money so you could, your studio time comes out of there, your outfits, your flights, your features, mm. everything. All On top of that is taxed. Oh. You got what I'm saying? That's Ooh. another thing people don't know. Oh. Yo, you we're dropping the... Yo, like, comment... Subscribe, for yo. Sure. Because hey, listen, he didn't have to do this. He for didn't sure. have to say that, yeah, brother. For sure. Come on, man. Keep going, brother. It's tax. So yeah, your deal was a mil, but you're not gonna see a mil. You might walk off with five hundred. Then mm. you want a fast car, you go spend two hundred on a Lambo. Now you're down to three K. Your family on your body, you feel the oh the gosh. pressure on oh you to buy God. a crib, to do this, the biggest chain. Bro, before you know it, you down to 100K, 90 bands. And debt. And what the fuck you going to do with 90K, bro? Because, bro, not for nothing, but 90K really isn't a lot of money, bro. 
when you're in this when you're in this in this game cuz it's a constant game of of being the flyest, yep. having the biggest chain, having the baddest bitches, having the fastest whips. You got what I'm saying? So there's this constant need of spending money, flashing money, or this, that, and the third to prove that yo, I'm the biggest right now. I'm the hottest art. You got what I'm saying? So so the maintenance is high. It's super high. Super, 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 super high. Um, I learned that shit the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that shit Because you hard. dabbled in it yeah, yourself. Yeah, bro, I dabbled in it myself. I had to take a little, step back. Yeah, I had to really like think like, yo, hold on. You feel me? And- what if what if that don't work, right? You make that one song, shit stick, and then what? You're not gonna eat the rest of your life off of that one song, like true. Side investments, you ever thought of that? A lot of people don't have the right team around them to guide them and tell them, yo, exactly. invest in this, real estate, invest in that's a whole nother that's conversation. Whole nother conversation. You feel me? Yeah. But you got what I'm saying? That's 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 you know the reality of it, bro. So the TikTok and all of that, um, it's definitely a good thing, but for some artists, it, it it could potentially be a very bad thing. It can make you or break, or break you. you or break you. For That's sure. so true. For That's sure, so for true. sure. Yeah. Because I've been seeing so many people pop off off just that one song and then they don't know how to act and then they're over here like, oh, we we, we made it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we made and it, right? You but did bro, not make did it. Did not make shit. <laughs> Clearly you did not. did not make it, yeah. Because then you fall off the next week. Mind you, like the consistency that is required in order to like... Continue build that build up that momentum. Yeah, it takes everything, bro. Yeah, bro. It takes and everything. I learned that from um Tory Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Yeah, I saw that in like another. I'm recent. D-Lo got me into like watching interviews and shit, and um he had mentioned that like yo like build having a a foundation. That's like a house, bro. Yeah. You can't build the house on some foo foo foundation. Some foo-foo foundation. Like, come yeah. on, bro. You That's feel so me? That's just bound to just flop. You got what I'm saying? So I would rather go through. This process, yep. I'd rather, you know, trials and tribulations, and I know where I'm going. You got what I'm saying. I'm yes, confident yes, with with you know of me, my talent, and my God given talent, you know, and my craft. And you know, that's all you need at the end of the day, bro. So, like I said, can make or break you, bro. Can make or break yeah, you. Can make or break you, bro. Let's go. So, how are you currently marketing yourself right now? Yo, I'm actually struggling with that, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one be, of the hurdles yeah, of, in the industry right I now. I think. I think that's. My big yo, bro, no cap. If if I knew how to market properly, I would have been out of here, bro. Mm. I would have been out of here. Would have left the state, bro. I would have been, been out of here, bro. I would have been out of here, bro. But marketing is very, very difficult, bro. Marketing is very difficult. Um, you know, it's like you think you know your audience, but you don't. Right. You got what I'm saying. So you don't know who to put it in front of. Is is it get tricky, bro? Ads, Marketing, yeah, things like that, all right? of that. That's a lot. Like Google ad accounts, like Facebook. It's bro. It's 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 a lot, bro. And apart from that, the funds, bro. Like funds. Back to like one of the first questions you had asked me, bro. Like lack of resources, lack bro. Of resources, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's one of the things, bro. In in music, unfortunately, bro. If you don't get rival or pop off off of a song on TikTok, bro, you need a lot of funds behind you, bro. A lot of these artists that. You see doing what they're doing, bro. They have big bags behind them. Um, I'm I'm a lot of money into this shit, bro. Yeah, and you need a... Would you say that it's difficult to make it with a budget? It is. It is because your budget... To ease things, your budget has to be a lot bigger. Mm. And people don't... A lot of people don't have access to it. Way bigger budget. A lot of people are working that nine to five yep. to supply their, you know, their dreams. And for those of you, for those of you who want to rap or whatever it is, yeah, tell them. y'all do, and y'all think it's corny to work a nine to five. I used to be that person. That shit is not whack, bro. Yep. If you not, I agree. Mi- I agree. if you middleman is first off, I don't condone none of that illegal shit. So fuck that. Never mind. Not even gonna tap into that. But get that fucking job. Just do it. Just do it, bro. Money Just is money. It. Fuck with the other, and I can curse. You feel me? My fault if I'm cursed. But it's it's just it's the reality of it. The reality of it. Fuck that other person that went to high school with you that you're trying to impress still. When in all reality they're not even watching what the fuck it is you're doing. What you think they fuck. are? You're just painting this fucking shit in your head. This this picture that everybody is watching. What I'm, bro. Get the job, bro. You feel me? Supply your dreams, and then once your dreams can supply the lifestyle that you want to live. You good. You don't got to worry about working that nine to five. But, bro, you got to start somewhere, bro. Right. 
You got to start somewhere. How can you expect to get from A to B if you're not willing to put in the work in A first? You got what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So, you know, do whatever it is you got to do. If your budget ain't big enough, if you don't got a team behind you, if you don't got an investor with millions of dollars behind you, get the job. Get the job. And truthfully, you're never going to get that investor if they don't see that you're investing in yourself. Ooh. So... You damn, me? damn, so damn. So it's like, with whatever it is you do in life, bro, damn. whether it's illegal or illegal, bro, if they don't see you believing in you First? and putting into you, how the fuck you want them to do it? How you want me to put my hard-earned Earn, money yeah, into yeah. a dream you don't believe in? Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. So, get that job, Damn. do whatever it is, hustle, you feel me? Wake up every day, hustle, get off your ass, stop swiping on TikTok, That's stop good. worrying about him. them. Talk to them. I'm not going to say that word, but women, you feel me? Stop worrying about women, you know? Stop worrying about shit that don't matter, bro. Yes, sir. Get yes, to sir. the fucking bag and chase your fucking dreams. Yes, get sir. the fuck up every day and do what it is you got to do. Even, if, yo, if you got to lose sleep over this shit... Yeah, you gotta lose sleep over this shit. Like, Talk if you shit. really want it, I done had sleepless nights in the studio for sure. Talk your shit. No cap. Whoever watches this and part of my team, tell them, bro. Yo, bro, tell I'm bro. gonna give tell an him, example him, and him, shout out to Shorty, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. That's somebody who I really look up to, bro. My people know my 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 team. My people know inner circle. Yo, she. Is trying to she's gonna she she wants to be a physician's assistant, right? So she gotta go to medical school. She gotta do if I'm not mistaken. Damn, she might kill me when she watches this. If I don't <laughs> say the right information, but two to four more years, one of the two. She already graduated college, right? Let's go. Bro, this girl, knowing she would have to wake up the next day at five in the morning to be at work by six thirty, will go will get out of work, six, seven o'clock, drive me, because I ain't have a V, drive me to the studio. Mm -hmm. Fall asleep in the studio, bring her laptop, do her work in the studio, her homework, whatever the fuck it is she had to do. Yeah. Do her work in the studio, sleep two hours, whatever, go home, sleep one more hour to wake up, shower, go back to work, and oh repeat God. the cycle. The reason oh I say God. this is she she wants it. You got she what I'm saying? Wants so it. she wants to support also. Yeah. So she sacrificed sleep and whatever the fuck else she had to sacrifice to not only support me again because it's my partner, but she didn't let going to the studio with me stop her from doing what the fuck she got to do. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. She was sleeping in the studio. There's videos of that. No cap. Literally. Yeah. Videos of her sleeping knocked out in the studio. Like, yeah. like this, bro. Like, you feel me? Or take her work, do it in the... Bro, besides the point, get the fuck up. Stop yeah. being lazy. You that's watching this video, stop being fucking lazy, bro. Get up. Go to the fucking gym. Change your motherfucking diet. Tell them. Change tell them. your motherfucking circle, your surroundings, your environment. Stop doing all that shit that you think is cool, that you thought was cool in high school. That shit is not cool no more. At bro. all. Getting money is cool. Getting money is cool. Feel me? Taking care of your family is cool. Yup. Doing what the fuck it is you got to do for you is cool. Chasing your dreams is even cooler. Mm. But you can't do that without funds, bro. Without and funds, bro. You feel me? So... Get up, bro. Just get up. Bro, please. Come on. Get up. <laughs> nah, real talk. Like, real talk. Like, level up. <laughs> you right? got level what I'm saying. Up. Shout out to level up. Yo, <laughs> that message he's pushing and he's promoting. Yo, that's, that's it right there. It's like, real, bro. For real, for real. Like, it's real. Word. Yo, nah. Shout out to what you got going on, Appreciate too. I just want to give you, you know, want to give you your flowers, bro. That's, Thank you, my brother. That, that's, that's super positive, bro, and empowering, bro. For I'm real, grateful. For, I'm grateful. You know? I grateful. love it. Thank you yeah, so much, my brother. Of course. And now that's real. You see, the, the, the words that he's saying right now are enough to change somebody's life, right? And the thing is with that is like a lot of people are not humbled enough to say, you know what, fuck it. Let me get a job. Because they're afraid of the image of just getting a job. They're afraid of just being like somewhere publicly where they have to work under someone else. And it's like, bro, you're going to get to the CEO level position. Facts. But you have to work your way up, family. Play your role. Play your role, family. Play your role, bro. That's literally playing your role, bro. Play your play your role. If you gotta, if you gotta flip burgers, yo, yo flip tell burgers, bro. Shit, you, you get free food at the end of the night too. Real like, talk. Yeah. That's hey. money you ain't even spend. <laughs> hey, that's on the budget. You want a budget, you right? You feel me? Like, yo, just do what you gotta do, man. Get to it, bro. Get get to it, man. Don't let these other people and. You know, Get don't compare your yourself to these niggas with the big chains. Yep. I was that that was a problem I had. I was trying to compare myself to niggas. I was trying to keep up with them. No, for real. And you start to see for like, real. bro, yep, bro, your pockets ain't where these niggas' pockets is at, bro. 
where these people's pockets are at, my fault. You got what I'm saying? Like, so stop trying to compete. You know, you are where you are because God wants you there. Yeah, and, you got what I'm saying? And comparison is the thief of joy. You got what I'm saying? You feel Damn, me? Facts. So you're going to rob yourself out of your own happiness. You're going to shoot your own self in the foot, outsmart yourself into thinking like, damn, my chapter five, his chapter 30, I'm still not shit. You hear that? Like, chapter 30, to, like, bro, you're chill, bro. It's a marathon, not a race. So what is the message that you want to get across in your songs? Like, what does your new single, Wolver Averte, mean to you? <laughs> Um, so this record actually means a lot to me. Uh, it's from a true story. Um, I've re- I'm, 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 I guess you could say I'm going through a heartbreak, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? Um, Another traumatizing moment. Yeah, bro. I love somebody who um, means the world to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it on camera. I would say it off. You feel me? Anybody that asks. Um, obviously, because of my wrongdoings. Okay. You got what I'm saying? And um, it was just in the moment, bro. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. I was in the process. You know, I went to the studio, pulled up to the studio. Uh, you know, I run through a couple beats. And that beat, that's kind of like the vibe it gave me. Yeah. You know, like, to talk about just it. talk. Just talk. Like, if you really listen to that song, it's a slow, smooth song. It, it, right. It's nothing. It's not a lot going on. Um. That's actually my favorite record right now. Oh, it really is? Yeah, that's actually my favorite record right now. No way. Um, I guess since it comes from the heart, you got what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like that's yeah. when music comes out the best, bro. When it's, like I was saying, oh, that's not written. Oh, it's not written that's too? That's not written. That's Damn, off the top? Guys, I'll be there. It's a process. That's I'll how you know it's there. even more genuine. I'll sit there and I was just, you got, because like I said, that song is is something that, that bro, that's, that's from the heart. You got yeah, what I'm saying? I can't fake that. Can't. Like. You feel yeah. me? I can't fake yeah. that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not telling somebody else's story. I'm telling my story. story now, yeah. when I put it out, it might be somebody else's story that I True. don't know. You know what I'm True. saying? But when I make it, that's me. True. You know, I'm talking about what I'm going through. And that's what I'm going through. Real. You know what I'm For saying? Real. So that song, bro, that, that, that song means a lot to me, bro. Okay. So do you have that same frame of mind when it comes to the rest of your songs? Like, um, what are the messages <clears throat> you mainly try to get across? Yeah. So this is actually something that... You know, a lot of people ask. Sometimes, bro, it's like you try to get messages across through your music, but that's not always going to be the case. Okay, why? You know, because there's turn up songs, there's sad songs, oh, there's yeah. there's lyrical. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a it's a shit. It's it's a it's a v- variety. So um, sometimes you try, but if you can't really. If that's not your vibe, it's like, you don't want to force it. Mm. You got what I'm saying? I might come... Well, I don't drink anymore. I got two months I don't drink, but... Clap it up to that. Yeah, nah, I clap got it two up months to I don't drink. Clap it up to that. But, um, you know, if I come out from the studio, I mean, I'm sorry, a club or something, whatever the case may be, you lit, you want to make a turn-up song, you still in that vibe, you want to go to the studio and make a turn-up song, Yeah. what message can I get across with a turn-up song? Like, true that. Besides <laughs> drinking that's and getting so true. lit, shaking that's ass, so true. like, yeah. you feel me? So... So it you try depends. to make songs for environments like that. Yeah. Specifically? Not necessarily. No, not for that specifically. Just whatever comes to mind. You oh, got okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. More times than not, I try to spread positivity. You're not going to hit. You could go through all my songs and you're not going to hear me talk about killing people. Mm. You know, everything I talk about in my songs, I've witnessed myself yeah. or I've been through myself. Mm. You feel me? There's a lot of people who rap about a lot of shit that they haven't done. Gimmicks. You got what I'm saying? And kudos to you. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. There's, there's, rap there's, cap. for example, I wouldn't necessarily call it rap cap simply because if your environment is, if all you know is chilling with a whole bunch of people who, who is shooters, you got, you're not a shooter, you're but shooter, your yeah. people's are shooters and you rap, right? You want to rap. But you don't got nothing go- like you have nothing to, to rap about. about. Yeah, it's like shit. Why not tell my man's story? You mm. got what I'm saying? Which I've seen that a lot of big artists. I'm not gonna say names, but there's a lot of big artists songs that y'all love, bro. <laughs> that y'all love and that are based on other. People's they're stories. telling their people's stories, and there's nothing wrong with that. You got what I'm saying? Music is a storytelling game. True. Nobody. There's no rules that say you know that it has to be your story specifically. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? Cause I want to talk for the people, bro. Mm-hmm. There's people who don't know how to put their words into into motion like right. I know how to. Right. You know what I'm saying? So why not do that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then 
you know, like I said, on the other hand, sometimes there's songs where I might just, they might not even have a message. It'll just be, it sound lit, sound the beat lit. fire, yeah. up tempo, let's make some club shit. Let's make some club, okay. You know what I'm saying? But for yeah. the most part, bro, I try to keep a balance between spreading a positive message and my real life story at the same time. Okay. You got what I'm saying? That's a good, that's a good unique type of ratio. Yeah, type of balance bro, I try right to, yeah, I try to keep it like balanced, bro. I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right, so how does a how does a session in the studio look like for you? Shit, bro. So I pull up to the studio. I gotta eat before I bring food to the studio. <laughs> always. When you I was, you can't rap if you're yeah, hungry. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, always. Well, before I stop drinking, Buchanan. Buchanan. Yeah, bro. That's the Dominican <laughs> drink, bro. You know what? Oh I, shoot. Yeah. So always bring the Buchanan, cranberry juice. We mix chop up. It up. Yeah, mix up. You feel me? Run through some beats, chill, laugh, and try to find the flow. All right, y'all fuck with this. Come on, punch me in. And go in there and just do my thing, do bro. Your thing. Do my thing, you feel me? I seen that you signed to a producer named Cito. So can you tell us how the relationship with you guys kicked off? And what made him sign you specifically instead of any other artist that he could have chosen? Um, So he was doing these... Uh, so I wasn't signed to him, mm. right? Okay. He had like a little label going on, and it was more like a <clears throat> artist development contract. Artist development contract. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. What is that? What is so that? So it's basically they find somebody who's not big yet, right? Who's not who hasn't made it to stardom, um, and they take you and work with you, provide you. With resources, you know, the necessary resources to develop you into the artist that they see you can be. After turning you into that, the ultimate goal is to, I mean, if you're making enough, stay independent. Like, you know, to be like an artist like Russ. Or ultimately get that major deal agreement. Mm. Um, but how that came about was um, my cousin, Ivan. Who, funny story, we was actually, I wouldn't say beefing, because I don't beef with family. Okay. You feel me? That's, that's my brother. Always will be. All love. Always. Um, We weren't talking, and he called me one day, and he's like, yo, I had heard a seat, though, you know, through somebody else. And he had called me and was like, yo, I submitted your song to Cito's live, go. Like, tap into the live to, like, see the, you know, the reaction. Yeah. He had, like, a little review show going on on Instagram. And I was like, I bet. So I tapped in. He played. He played the song, and damn, I, I lost that footage. What and song was it? Intoxicated. Ooh, I never, intoxicated. I never put it out though. I think you had heard it. I, heard I think it. you heard it That's before. Yeah. That's and he was, he was jagging that, bro. He was like, Nah, who's this? Da da da. <laughs> My cousin commented like, Oh, that's Birdie. So he's like, Birdie comment. So I commented. He was like, Yo, I'm gonna tap in with you. Like, DM me so I can hit you back after the live. Um, he never hit me. Okay. Yeah, he never hit me. He pump, he pump faked. Yeah, he pump faked. <laughs> he pump faked. Um, and then I think I hit him again. That's when he hit me. And I think he asked me to like get on the phone. We chopped it. He was like, "Yo, let's get in the studio." He was like, "Let's get in the studio. Like, let's cook up." So I pull up on him first time. We chop it up in the studio. I made some trash ass shit. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. That shit was trash. <laughs> Wasn't feeling it. <laughs> nah, that shit. That, that song was garbage, bro. But um, me and him hit it off though. Okay. Pause. You feel me? Like our relationship, like you know, the vibes was there. So he has some backing. Um, his his partner at the time. Uh, and I'm I'm a, I'm not gonna say his name just because you know he likes to be like anonymous. Um, he was like, yo, this dude really. See something you like. Yeah. He want to give you a little bag. Like, you feel me to work with you? It was supposed to be for the just, it was supposed to be for just that song. Oh, just that song? It was to sell that song. That was, that was going to be that, to sell over the rights to that song. So okay. they will put it out. They would give me an upfront bag. Yeah. And they'll put the record out, obviously, Birdie, Intoxicated, whatever, but through whatever channel they were going to put it out through. Mm. And they was going to eat off the record. Okay. But they was giving me a, they was, they offered a, Pretty good amount. You got what I'm saying for one record. Um, enough, enough to make enough you like, to make me like yeah, you can have that. Like okay. you got what I'm saying. And 
side note, at the time I was I was kind of like I was in a desperate situation. Okay. So them offering me money was like fucking the light at the end <laughs> of the tunnel, bro. That was like, oh shit, like I need that. So like um, a kid at the candy yeah, store. Yeah, bro. I was like, I need that. Um nah, so we was talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. We ended up agreeing on like a three P um situation. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. With some bread up front. They gave me some they gave me an advance. Um and yeah, that was that. So I wasn't like I said, I wasn't signed to C though. Um but to I was in business, yeah, to his I was in I was in business with C though. Um yeah, it was it was all love to Cito. It's all love with Cito still, but we're no longer in business for like my personal reasons. Okay. But um but yeah, you feel me? Shout out to him and what he got going on, like bro doing his thing. Would you look for are are you looking forward to collabing with him in the future? Um I'm not gonna say no, bro. You feel me? If that's what it comes down to, then yeah, for sure. Cause like I said, there's no bad blood. Um we just had to stop because, like I said, of personal reasons. You feel me? He was going through what he was going through. I'm going through. So it was, it was just, I'd rather be transparent and let you know, like, yo, this shit not working out right now because right, of this. Right. Instead of burning that bridge. You got what I'm saying? Because I never know. He might need me. I might need him one day. You got See, what I'm saying? That's an important lesson right there. Can you explain why is it important to not burn bridges? Yeah, bro, because you never know when you're going to need that somebody. You got what I'm saying? That somebody you shit on today. Might make it way farther than you make it. And you might need them. And when you go to them, like, yo, can I get a helping hand? They're going to be like, fuck you. You shitted on me when I needed you. So don't bo- don't ever burn bridges, bro. If you owe that bread, pay that bread. You feel me? Like, right, right. Don't, don't ever burn bridges, man. Um, That shit is very important in business. And just use that shit throughout your life. Like, um, I actually learned that the hard way, bro. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Um. <clears throat> Like I said, I was in a different mind space when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So I did a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Feel me? And, and greed. Greed, bro. I fucked a lot of people over, unfortunately. You feel me? Who I, I apologize to now. Um, <laughs> Trying to make amends. You feel me? <laughs> if, if, you know, if y'all with it. But um, yeah, bro. Don't don't burn that bridge. You never know when you're going to need that somebody. And regardless, it's not good to shit on anybody. Even if you never speak to that person again. Always be transparent and honest with the person it is you... you, you Making that transaction with you, got what I'm saying. Whatever transaction, um, so yeah, bro. If one day, if that's what it takes, like you got what I'm saying. If I need that, you know, I'm sure he'll be open to it. Like I said, there's For no sure. bad blood. We ended like we know. On why, a positive you know, note, yeah, yeah, you got what I'm saying. So yeah, that's that. So I was gonna say. I also I heard this quote. It goes like, the the hand that you bite now might be the might be the ass that you kiss later. Yeah, I, I never was heard like, that. damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. I never heard that. Yo, that's yo, bro. That's the that's basically what you said in the show. Literally, bro, like don't shit because you don't know who that somebody gonna be one day, bro. So don't shit on nobody, bro. I treat everybody the same with love and respect, bro. You respect me, I respect you. Feel me? Yeah. And I love who love me. Mm. Feel me? Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Can you explain to us how deal structures work and how an artist can go about it? um, Or should go about it? I'm big on staying independent, bro. Mm, let's I'm, talk about that. I'm big on staying independent, bro. I don't think it's fair to have somebody else enjoy the fruits of your labor. Mm. Nobody know what nobody knows the hard work that you put in to get to where you're at. So that's like me telling you, yo, I'm gonna give you fucking un cubetazo of concrete to help build your house. Just one. You figure out the rest, you build the house, boom, you build the house, you gotta re- you gotta give me one of the rooms, you gotta let me live in it. It's like what the fuck? Like, how am I expecting to enjoy enjoy the fruits of your labor? You got what I'm That's saying? So of true. Your hard work. That's so true. So um deal structures get pretty tricky, bro. There's a there's a shit ton of them, bro. Yeah, because I heard about like selling your masters, keeping your masters. Yeah. Like, bro. you know, what, so, what's, what's, what's all that about? Bro, it's, it's so tricky. It gets tricky. deep. It's, yeah, it's tricky, bro. But pretty much you're taking the loan, bro. Okay. And until you don't pay back that loan, the money that your music is making, you don't see. You don't enjoy. I'm going to give you a mill, but you got to recoup that mill for me. Okay. You got what I'm saying? Or whatever percentage they want to have recouped. You got what I'm saying? Yep. So some deals are like 80-20. I think Bad Bunny has like the best deal structure in like 
the world right now. You know if I'm not mistaken. Like? Bro, I think the label only gets like, if I'm not mistaken, it's from 10 to 20% of what he makes, bro. He <sighs> makes the other 80, bro. Oh, my God. Off everything. Best so, position right there. Bro, he has, he you know, in the game, like, he has the best deal structure, like, ever. Like, ever. Like, that's, like, stamp. Like, fact. You feel me? Shit is insane, bro. He's... He's filthy rich, bro. God He's eating. He's eating. But for them to offer him that, imagine how much money they're making to be That's okay true. with that. You <laughs> feel me? They must, yo, that bread yeah. that they're breaking must be a big piece. <clears throat> you got what I'm saying? So, yeah, deal structures got a little tricky. Um, stay independent, man. If if you could, like I said, if you could eat, you know, there's there's um, distribution platforms. There's, you know, distributors, channels through which you could, like, Upload your music like TuneCore, United Masters, Distro Kid. Mm, talk to um, him. Drop them gems. You got what I'm saying? Distro Kid is a monthly fee like forty bucks. Okay. Come on, bro. That's ten dollars a week. <laughs> like you, you got what I'm saying? You could afford that. You feel me? What a job. Said distribute your music. If I'm not mistaken, I think United Masters is free, bro. It gives you a a a, a feature to like master. Your, that's another to master your music on that mm. platform. You could upload. Videos through there, you could you could do a shit ton of stuff, bro. You got what I'm saying? So you don't need a label to put out your music, bro. Nowadays, bro, with everything, all the channels created, bro, it's so easy to put out music, bro. Yeah, it's super easy. You just gotta do a little bit of research and spend maybe a hundred bucks, bro. Less than a hundred bucks. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, try to stay independent, bro. Forget about that deal. Get that deal out your head, bro. Cause anyways. They're not going to offer you a bag until you making a bag. If you're not making money, they're not going to offer you money. So you got to find a way to make money with music independently anyways before label even want to work with you. It's a numbers game. So I know that in order to make that happen, you need a team. For sure. How does one, how does the average artist create that for themselves? Bro, every single one of y'all got at least 10 friends. And all of y'all just like to smoke and be at the crib. Tell every single one of your friends to learn how to do something, bro. You pick up a camera. You got a motherfucking piano. You got a laptop. Learn how to engineer. You learn how to produce. You learn how to edit videos. You going to shoot my videos. You going to make my beats. And you going to mix my songs. Simple as that, bro. Simple. Simple as that, bro. It doesn't have to get more complicated than that. At all, bro. At all, at all, at all. Just, you got what I'm saying, bro? The people around you, bro. Bro, law of attraction. Yes. You feel me? Yes. You're gonna, you gotta, I don't even, I don't need that. Please. No explanation needed. Yeah, bro. Like, no I can't even, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave it there, leave bro. Right y'all, there. Not, y'all not dumb. Y'all not stupid, bro. Come on. Like, <laughs> you put in the work, the right people go on track. Like, you got what I'm saying? Like, so, please, Chris, we don't gotta dumb it down. I know. Yeah, yeah, let me not. Let me not. Let me not. You should get it. You should get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what did you learn since now, since you're independent, right? You're free from labels, you're free from any contracts, right? What did you learn from working with Cito and signing a deal? Um, damn, again, we being transparent on here, so... Let's go. For Level Up interviews only, yo, give me a like, comment, subscribe, because, look, listen, these gems are getting dropped. My brother Birdie is literally giving you guys the real. Yeah. Please no, appreciate no bullshit. that. Leave so, a comment below, sh show some fire emojis, spam Level Up, and let's get into it, bro. For sure. So, um... Me getting a little taste of this shit made me realize that like business is business, bro. Business is business. And friendships and business don't mix. And it don't matter how close we think we are. Yup. You feel me? Like business is business, bro. And you got a family to feed and so do I. You got what I'm saying? And that's nine so times true. out of ten, bro, that's 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 if y'all feel like Y'all not both eating or the situation ain't, because, you know, I'm going to call it the situation ain't benefiting y'all. Then it's like, yo, y'all just got to go y'all separate ways. And nine times out of ten, bro, yeah, it's on a quote-unquote positive note, but there's always going to be that bad, you know, that... That, 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 hidden, that hidden element. That, that hidden you element. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I just learned to really, like I said, like, n you can't you can't mix... Business with friendships, family, or emotions, bro. Leave your emotions out this shit. All the way out. Like, for, toss them shits. Put, put them aside. shit. Like, <laughs> put them away, bro. Put them away because that is one, the fastest way to get fucked over. And two, the truth is nobody gives a fuck. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, nobody. That's the harsh truth. You got what I'm saying? Nobody nobody cares about your emotions, especially in this game. So, um, I think 
that's the most important lesson, that's bro. Business is business, business, bro. Like, is business. always keep that in mind. You got what I'm saying? That's why it's best to do this shit with people you know from zero, like, and work your way up, bro. And it's just, I feel like the motivation is different. Like, when yeah. y'all all come from zero, it's yeah. like, damn, like, y'all really all did this want shit. it. It's like, so when y'all know that feeling of when y'all get, it's like, wow, like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, so, yep. yeah, bro, just business is business, bro. Toss your feelings to the side, bro, and just keep your head down. You feel me? Keep your head down. What are some networking tips? Talk to everybody, bro. Talk to everybody. Talk to everybody, bro. Don't matter the race, religion, color, height, weight. None of that shit matters, bro. None of that shit matters. Again, it goes back to also what I said. Like, bro, don't shit on somebody because they're in a lesser position than you because you don't know where they're going to be. You so know true. what I'm saying? So, Yes, sir. Um, talk to everybody, bro. Put your put your face out there. Don't be afraid to promote yourself. Some people are scared or, or like, you know, you 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 second guess your craft and what it bro, promote the fuck out yourself. Like I said, if you don't believe in you, how you want me to? You gotta make me think that you're so Full of yourself, like you think that your music is better than Bad Bunny's. You got what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause if I if I see that you think that I'm be like, damn, yo, let me tap in. Like, right. why does you got what I'm saying? So yeah. you gotta sell that. You gotta you you know what I'm saying? Put yourself out there, bro. Talk about your that's actually something that I struggle with, bro. Yeah? Yeah. People might see me as like a super social person, which I am. Mm -hmm. And I could talk to anybody, but I'm not a mixy person and I don't like being outside. Mm. Believe it or not. I a little bit like of an introvert, right? I burned that phase, bro, I think in high school. Okay. And I wasn't making music at the time, so I didn't have shit to promote. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, now nah, I'd be afraid of what like people think on my Instagram and what. You got what I'm saying? And then, you know, but my people be telling me, like, yo, bro, like, promotions, like, come outside. Yo, shout out to Madrid. He's the most annoying person on God's green earth. <laughs> he is a work fucking holic work so yo, true dude, so true and he's always trying to get me outside <laughs> but i don't want to be outside so stop trying to get me to come outside <laughs> i don't want to come the fuck outside madrid <laughs> i repeat psa yo madrid's media christian madrid stop <laughs> Calling me to come outside and telling me I got a network. I'm not going outside, bro. Don't come out. Yo, I'm blocking you. No cap. Yo, he's so big on like, yo, you got to be outside and network and like, bro. But is he right though? He is. 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 You feel me? And shout out to him and what he's got going on because him being outside sure. so Madrid. fucking much. Yo, Madrid. would you believe me if I told you, well, and I'm sorry and I told him this, I'm taking credit for... Madrid's motivation to really, really pursue this camera shit. Oh, whether he says it or hot not. Take, hot and take. there was somebody else who witnessed the conversation that I had with Madrid, so he cannot deny this. <laughs> I sat Madrid down. Matter of fact, we was on the way to ride bikes with Lil Uzi. Ooh. I didn't have my dirt bike at the time, so I had to borrow Madrid's. Mm. So I told my cousin to come. Right, we rented yeah. a U-Haul truck. Madrid was like, "I'll, I'll lend it to you, but I gotta go." <laughs> so I was like, alright, whatever. And at the time, I didn't really fuck with him like that because I, I didn't know him. Right, right. You got what I'm saying? He was more of Ivan's friend. Ivan's friend, yep. So I was like, alright, cool, but we have mutual friends. Mm -hmm. So I was like, alright, cool, fuck it, you can pull up, whatever, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So I remember, if I'm not mistaken, on the way over there, the conversation came up about like music and like his camp. And he was iffy, bro. Like right, school right. and this. And I'm like, yo, bro, look, I'm trying to build a team. I told him just like that. Like, yo, I'm trying to build a team. I don't got money to give you right now. Mm -hmm. We just need work. I just need work, bro. And that was a long conversation, but we've been locked in ever since, bro. Ever since. You feel me? And that's somebody who I ain't going to lie, bro, motivates me, believes in me. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. if I need that nigga to pull up with a camera right now- He will. And he could pull up and he not doing nothing. Yo, where you at? Let's do it. Let's get it. You feel me? Like, he's shout out, shout out Madrid. So shout, shout out Madrid, Madrid for shout real. Madrid. You feel me? Um. He's big on like networking and doing all that networking shit, bro. Sure. And he's always trying to get me to do that. I just I haven't been able to break out that shell, bro. Right. I, I don't know, bro. I don't I don't like. I might look like I like being on camera because mm -hmm. I do. I'm I'm yeah. I'm for the lady. Sometimes you like. But yeah, you feel me? Start but real quick. yeah, the going to the clubs and shit. I have I don't know. Is is is. 
It's a bit too much. Yeah, it's, it's a bit much for me. Um, but you're looking to overcome yeah, that. Yeah, I'm looking to overcome that, bro. I'm working on it for, for sure. sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right, so I noticed that you dropped your other single, La Nueve, right, with Diego LB. You even got it advertised on Times Square screen, bro. Fact. Yo, nah. Fact. Good work, bro. Good work, Fact. my brother. So how do you feel about that? Um, That was big for me, bro. Um, Again, all marketing. Yeah. You know, there's ways to do it on the back end, you mm -hmm. feel me? <laughs> What's your favorite line? Um, Mine was out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, I even, bro, <laughs> yo, nah, it's funny because I swear to God, every time, ever, like, ever since I heard I've been playing, I'm like, yo, run it back, run it back, run it back. And every time I'm like, <laughs> bro, I even, I even real life would tell me, yo, Chris, shut up, bro. <laughs> bro, even when I was over here doing the interview, what did I, what, when Madrid was like, yo, Chris, talking to the mic to us so we can get some yeah, check in, yeah. I would be like, Fumano Sasa, tamo en alta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, tell me, about that's that. how I kind of like try to make the music relatable. You right. feel me? You got what I'm saying? And it catchy. Was, it was like a line that and sounded, catchy. you know, cool, catchy. Todo el mundo fumando salsa. Todo en alta. Todo en alta. So yeah, bro. Um, that was that was a little marketing scheme on okay. the back end. Little we, play. A little play. Yeah, yeah that play. was. Bro, and again, I put that play together with Madrid like mm. 30 minutes before we did it, bro. Oh, let's yeah, go. No cop. Now nah, y'all get to it. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, we 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 try not to waste no time. I like that. I'm the lazy one, like I said. So yeah. <laughs> that that he was being lazy though, I had to be like, nah, we out. Let's like, go. Right, let's whatever. go. Like so, but yeah, bro, marketing. Marketing. Yeah. Mm. That was that was big. And how was it like collabing with Diego for the first time? Um, yo, bro, dope, bro. Yeah? Yo, Diego, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Remember I said it on this interview, Diego gonna be the next big thing. Oh, it's like that. No cap. It's like that. That's a fact. Diego got a lot going on on the back end, apart from the talent that he has. He's 19, bro. 19? Yeah, he's 19. Oh, the guy's young. Yeah, he's 19, bro. Young dude. Yeah, he's 19, and he is super fucking talented, bro. Like, and I'm not saying this as somebody who collab with him. I'm saying this as a fan. As a fan? His. Oh, my god. Because I gosh. give... I give, I give Yo, bro, when I really fuck with your music, I'm a fan, bro, and I give everybody. A, sure. You got what I'm saying? That's a fact. You feel me? If you know that, if you know me, you know. And your standard must be high. Yeah, I'm, bro. A, I'm, a, I'm assuming. Ivan's always talking about, yo, you think everybody's ass? <laughs> I'm like, bro, that's just you feel me? I got super expensive hot taste. You feel me? Like it takes a and lot. And he reaches that. Yeah, for me personally, yes, bro, and. He got a real good team behind him right now, bro, mm. who believes in him, and they, they doing whatever whatever it takes to get him the way he got to go. Let's Shout go. out to my brother, Chris. You feel me? The engineer. That's my boy. That's, that's, that's bro. You feel me? So, shout out to Diego. So, I peeped that. You also shot a crazy music video for that one, too. And y'all even did it at 1544 Collective. Yeah, we shot part of this in 1544 Collective. Um, That's my boy, Madrid Studio. So... You know, any podcast you got to do, any interviews, any photo shoots, video shoots, you feel me? That's where you want to be. Hit them up on Instagram. But, um, yeah. At, that, Mad at Madrid's Media. Yeah, at, at Madrid's 1544 Media. Collective. Also, yeah, for, for sure, for sure. Um, That video, I don't want to say was what we call running gun. Running gun. But it kind of was. Okay. There wasn't really much to that video. I just had to get the cars. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I was really it and get Madrid active. Um, the dude with the drone actually did that out of love. He oh, just, really? Bro, he drove an hour and a half to do the drone footage. An hour and a half? From Connecticut, yeah. Oh, my God. Talk about love, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. We shot that in the Bronx. Um, uh, yeah, bro, that was that was running gun, bro, to be honest. And then shout out to Rarock. Rarock edited that. Oh, he did? Yeah, nice, my boy bro. Rock. So in the beginning with everything going yeah, fast, boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, and then you got Madrid talking about some. Yo, we ready? Yeah, you feel <laughs> me? So it was, it was like I said, a team effort, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? Being able to team, teams make, win championships. You got, you feel me? Yeah, bro. So and no animosity, you know, because Madrid could have been another, but nah, I shot it. I don't want somebody else to edit it, but he know what it take to win that championship. You got what I'm saying? So. That's, that's important. That's one thing that I like really appreciate about, like I said, like my team, you know, yeah. Madrid. There's 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 no competition, bro. We we all we all in it to win it. You got mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I so, love that. When it comes to collaborating with other artists, right? How do you decide, okay, this guy is good from he's good vibes, got a good sound, let's work, right? Like what factors play into that? Because I know you don't just collab with I anybody. gotta like your music. You gotta like your music. Okay. There's nothing, there's nothing. Bro, you can off 
I, I, what I was about to say, I was going to be lying, so never mind. Because <laughs> I would take that. But I got to like music, bro. Okay. You feel me? Like, Diego did that song because he fucked with my music. And right. he had heard my shit through my man's Chris. So we followed each other and we never hit each other. I just like his posts, his from snippets a from a distance. That's it. And then I made that song and I'm like, yo, who do I hear on this song? And I'm like, he'll walk this. Yeah. He'll walk this. And honestly, and I'll say it on camera, he left me on my song. Damn. No cap. He carried you. He carried me on my song. He he gave that song the sauce and he, the the... That's our song, that's the cherry that song, on the top. No cap. no cap, bro. No cap. And I say that shit on camera, bro. That's real. And I told him, y'all was like, yo, you left me. And I could have been another one, be like, nah, I'm gonna go back, touch my verse up. Mm, to try to outdo nah, him. Nah, for what, bro? For what? You feel me? I know I did my I'm confident in my work. I know I did my thing. But you you did your thing even better. You feel me? At right. a higher level. You know what I'm saying? So right. I gotta respect that, bro. 100%. You feel me? Because I, I set the bar high. You set the bar high, yeah. And he surpassed that. You deserve it, bro. Like right. shine, you feel shine. me? Mm. So, um, how how important is it to put the pride and ego to the side, bro? When it comes to this, very important in anything, bro. Just in life, you gotta know when to when to put that shit aside. You feel me? Because you can close a lot of doors because of pride and ego. You got what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta not. This might sound a little crazy, but sometimes you might have to, you know, bend over. You got what I'm saying? But Again, that's that's part of the process and part of the game. And coming up, you know, you got to sometimes hold the L. And a lot of times, bro, them shits ain't even L, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, them shits really ain't L's, L's, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's Learning true. experiences, if anything. So, um, yeah, bro. I put my pride and ego aside, bro. And I, I say shit how it is, bro. 100%. Yo, you left me on my 100%. shit. Yo, you walked. Yo, I fuck with your music. And I feel like that is one of the biggest issues right now in the industry, which I didn't answer yeah. earlier, I think. Bro. People are too prideful, yo. Too, too egotistic, bro. Like, yo, give people their flowers, bro. If, right. if, if, if you want to work with somebody, don't be scared to send that message first, bro. Nigga, I'm in rappers' DMs. Pause. If I think you fire, yo, I might not even hit you to collab. I might just hit you to tell you fire, fire bro. Fire, yeah. That's no real. When I first hit Diego, actually, it was to tell him he was fire. I didn't even hit him to collab. So it was love. Off it, was the love. Rip. it was love. It was love. It was love. Yo, this is I fire emoji. Yo, you, logo, do it on my knee, though. You feel me? Yeah. And then you feel me? I kind of like built that relationship with him mm -hmm. via Instagram. And it was like, yo, let's lock in, bro. I got <laughs> this record. What's the word? Da -da 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 -da. He was like, I right, say no more, bro. He got a passion for music. I got a passion for music, and we put that shit together, bro. Let's go. Yeah, for sure. How can anybody get in contact with you to do a feature then? Um, Instagram. Uh, so I'm actually there's somebody else actually running my Instagram right now. Okay. Um, management, management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I, I be on it. I be on it. You know, sometimes because you know they be busy sometimes. Right. So I do have somebody on that, but my Instagram, and then depending on who you are, I might give you my number. You got what I'm saying. And then so, the ball rolls from there. Yeah, and then it'll go from there. You feel me? But my Instagram is Birdie NYC, B U B U R D I E NYC. That's me on all Make social sure media platforms. YouTube, Spotify, everything, you feel me? So whatever. If you want to work, feel me, hit me. If you fire, let's get it. I'm open to work with everybody. Famous, not famous. First song, I don't give a fuck. I mm. love music. I'm a whatever. Let's you go. talented, you talented, you feel me? For sure. Let's go. Let's go. Is there anybody that you're looking to feature with? Yo, bro, there's only one person who I can say I'm like, I want, like, yeah. Eladio Carrion. Woo! Eladio Carrion, bro. Hey, bro, you go. You could get there, brother. Like, you could get there, bro. That's that. I'm like, yo, I, I want that. Like, you know, because people you would love to work with, like, yeah, if the opportunity presented itself, for yeah. sure. But like every day, I'm like, yo, I fucking wish I had a song with this <laughs> motherfucker. You think if you and him collab, yo, y'all breaking the shit? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yo, that record will be crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, no cap. Yo, yo a record with a lot of be crazy. Bro, if, like no if cap. he tells you to pull up, make a wherever song, it's over. Wherever the fuck he's at, wherever the fuck he's at. It's over. Wherever he's at, wherever he's at, wherever he's at. I don't know. His music just, it got me through a lot of shit, bro. Mm, yeah, it got me impactful. through a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah his music is, is different, bro. Or 100%. Well, can you tell me your experiences when it comes to working with celebrities you've been around? I know Don Q was definitely one of them. Yeah, so um, 
damn, there was actually just mad bullshit happening that day, bro. Yeah? Like, yeah it was mad bullshit, bro. Not because of him. Um, bro, the fucking SD card on the camera wasn't working. Uh, we had... We thought it was recording. It wasn't fucking recording. Technical bro. difficulties. Yo, mad bullshit happened that day, but but it was dope. It was a dope experience. You feel me? Yeah. Um, he showed love. You know, real. That that play got put together through my brother Dilo. Um, shout out to Dilo. Shout out to Dilo. I appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah, it was it was it was dope, bro. I've as far as like really working and like making music. Yeah. Um, I haven't really gotten the chance to with like a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. Um, but. I think it's a me thing, bro. Like, yeah. I might come around these people and might not even present myself. Like, I'll die, yo, Birdie, was, you feel me? Yeah. I won't say I make music. Okay. You got what I'm saying? This is, again, like, going back to what I told you. Like, I feel like I got to really put myself out there more. Like, open yourself up. Yeah, like, you know, is to get in the rooms, I've been in the rooms. You feel me? It's just yeah. letting them know, like, I'm in the room. Like, I'm here. Like, I rap. Like, what's the word? You feel me? So... Um, but like with the people that I have, it's, it's been dope. You feel me? And on the back end, you feel me? On the low shit that hasn't been put out. Yeah. Um, I got a couple records. You feel me? So, yeah, bro. Um, it's been dope. It's been, it's been dope, dope for sure. That's yeah. tough. That's tough. Yeah, because I, I know a lot of people goals are to work with celebrities, get in contact with these people, yeah. and like, you know, knowing that you've been around them and stuff like that. It's like you know, it's inspiring, bro. You yeah, know, that's bro. another level that people really want to reach. For the real. only thing is. To be honest with you, bro, I don't even really, like, apart from Eladi, like I told you, I don't look forward to working with celebrities simply because, and I understand it, Yeah. they offer life-changing opportunities. They're in it for the for the money. You got what I'm saying? If if they don't find you, just them finding you, nine out of ten times, yeah, we charging you. Like, we charging. You yeah. got what I'm saying? I respect it. It's, you got to invest in yourself. You got You got what I'm saying? You got it, cause they invested in themselves. Yeah, that is true. You got what I'm saying, but um, business is business. Like yeah, you, said. Back, you feel me? Business is business. Yeah. So I just, you know, I try to stay away from that. I feel like I wanna, I don't want my career to be based off of, oh, he got a song with this person. Mm, That's why he. How blew important up. is that? For me, yeah. for every, You got what I'm saying. For others, I I, I don't know. Cause um, you don't want to leave that trademark behind, like, oh yeah, we only know him because cause of he did it. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want that, bro. I want it to be, yo. I know him because of him. You feel me? He his sound. Mm. You know, catalog. This, you got what I'm saying? I, I don't want it to be because of somebody else, bro. I'm in this shit for the long run, bro. Mm. A marathon. You got what I'm saying? A Not a race, like I said. Yeah, bro. I'm in this shit for the long run. I'm in it to win it. You got what I'm saying? And I want to build this shit myself with my team. Let's go. You feel me? Let's go. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, um, so what can we expect to see this year for Birdie NYC? What are your goals? And why are they your goals? To drop the most music I've ever dropped. Ooh. Um, a lot of music is on the way. Um, it's a catalog. It's a numbers game, bro. Everything is numbers in this in this industry. And it's like, bro, if I'm putting out six records a year, how the fuck am I expecting for people to find me, bro? That is a fact. You, I'm not that putting myself fact. in front of enough faces. Yeah. Consistently, you yep. know, consistent enough. Yep. So. You know, music wise, that's 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 definitely um, you know, the most important goal for me. Um, you know, I try not to get caught up in the in the in the numbers as far as oh I don't got this amount of followers, or I don't got this, or I don't got that. That's gonna psych Yeah, you out, that right? shit don't matter to me. How is he that shit don't matter to me, bro. You feel me? Like I said, you gotta have the confidence and know, yo, I'm I'm talented. I know I got the talent, it's just a matter of time, you feel me? Patience. Right. Patience and dedication will take you there, you know, and faith. Hey. Um, so I'm just on some like, yo, just try and make the best music possible and put that shit out for the world to see, bro. Let's go. Yeah, for sure. And what about on a personal level? Um, bro, just be a better person overall, bro. Yeah. Um, I feel like I saw myself in a dark space and it was turning me into a person that I didn't like. You got what I'm saying? Um, I heard a lot of people, uh... Emotionally, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I lost a lot of people along the way. Um, you know, important people to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of the type of person that I was, um, you know, at the time. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just trying to grow, bro. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I'm always in a positive space, you know, surrounded by like minded people. Yep. Um, and working on me, bro, really. Like I said, just, you know, being the best version that I could be, bro. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. For I sure. respect that. What what made you so due to the 
actions that you've caught that you've made in the past and the decisions that you made in the past made you want to to just you know evolve you know level up into 100%. a hundred percent better person yeah bro and I suggest that to everybody, bro. Like, I think you should. I think it's always good to sit back, you know, take reflect. and just reflect on, self-reflect. Mm -hmm. You feel me on on what's going Like, I had to really sit and it took a minute. You you got what I'm saying? And it's like, difficult. It's very, very difficult. Very difficult. Very to difficult. confront yourself, you look at the man in the mirror. Yeah, bro. You got what I'm saying? And it took me a long time, a very, very long time, because this is years coming. This isn't yeah. something that, you got what I'm saying? That just happened. That just happened. Um... But finally, I had the you know the courage and the discipline to be like, bro, I don't want this for me anymore. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be this type of person anymore. Salute. This Salute. is who I want to be. You got know what I'm saying? I want to yeah. be this kind of man, not the man that I am right now. Mm. So, um, you know, baby steps. Hundred percent. Slow progress is always better than no progress. Of course. You got know what I'm saying? Of course. Don't you know beat yourself up if you feel like you not take it easy. You got know what I'm saying? You gonna get there as long as right. every day you attempt. Something new to get to where it is you want to be or to be the person that you want to be, you're already going down the right path because a lot of people don't have that courage. That's so true. You got what I'm saying? That's so so that's 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 what I've been working on, bro. Just just being the best version of me possible, bro. For sure. Let's go, man. Yo, yeah. I gotta I gotta clap it up for that one, bro. <laughs> self development <laughs> sure. journey. Self development journey is it isn't very pretty. You have to confront ugly truths, but, but it's once worth you it. do, exactly. It's, it's worth, worth it. it. 100 percent Yeah. So what is this? So what's this summer looking like? Family? Shit. <laughs> Music wise? Yeah. Shit, this summer looking lit. It's looking lit. Man, I got a record right now that I feel like it's a summer vibe, bro. Some Ooh. Spanish shit. You know, I'll, I'll play this shit for you after. Oh, um, let's go. Unreleased. I'm just trying to figure out who I want to put on it. I, I, I want. Oh, you got an open verse? Yeah, I want somebody on this. I ain't going to lie. I feel okay. like this is this is a club record for the ladies. Oh, it's for the ladies. Yeah, for the ladies. For the ladies. You let's feel me? Go. I talk a little nasty on it. You Ooh, feel me? Okay. But um, yeah, it's in Spanish. I feel like this record. It's going to hit. If, I, if we push it the way we got to push it yeah. and market it the way we supposed to market it might do some damage. Oof. Yeah, hopefully. For me, God willing. Yeah, God willing. God willing. Birdie NYC Summer Takeover, man. You know the vibes. Let's get it. Let's get it. So do you plan to drop any albums soon? Um, Nah, bro. Uh, I think that the thing, not yet at least, Um, I'll drop an album when I'm at that point in my career. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because the thing with albums is, you don't know me. Why the fuck you going to go through 15 of my songs? True. If I can't get you to listen to the the first one entirely. That's a fact. You got what I'm saying? So right now I'm just trying to build catalog, single after single after single after single after single. I might drop an EP with recycled songs. Oh, it's oh, called right. like a waterfall effect or some shit like that where I put out un, un ejemplo like Volver a Verde. Yeah. Then I might drop two weeks later, I might drop Volver a Verde with a new song. Then two mm. weeks after that, I might drop those two Ooh, songs with a new song. That's you get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like a waterfall effect. You know those songs already, so you're gonna tap in, yeah. and it's gonna lead you to that song. So it's like it's like you're leaving a trail behind. You get what I'm oh saying? my god! Yeah, so no, that's actually, game. That's yo, game. You feel me? That's some game right there. That's a that little gem. Game, bro. I think yeah. there's so many. I, actually, now that I'm thinking, I think artists have actually do done that. that. Yes, yeah. a lot of big artists do it. You just don't notice it. Oh you get what I'm saying? God. When y'all favorite artists go and drop that album, run through that album, bro. Notice how it's like four or five songs that they already, already put know, out. Yo. You don't even be noticing sometimes. You got what I'm saying? So you get to that song. They put it in the middle of the album. Yeah. Towards the even end. The category, like the categorization. You got what I'm saying? All that matters, wow. bro. That's what a lot of people don't see. People think it's just putting, all right, I made six songs. Let me put six songs. To, nah, bro. Like, it got to be a theme. Yep. The album, it got to be a theme for the album. Like, somehow, some way, the song's got to transition in the proper way, like it's yeah. it's a lot, oh bro. It's goodness. a lot, yeah. There's a lot of science that yeah, goes into it, bro. bro. With bro, music is is science. Bro. It's science. Like there's a lot of science behind it, bro. And that's something. Yo, things shit like that. is insane, yeah. bro. Like melodies that the brain, like you know, like that yeah. release. The, yo, that shit is yo, just crazy, bro. That's so real. Yeah, dog. shit is crazy, bro. Shit is crazy, bro. That's why a lot of like your favorite songs, bro. Songs that are hits, like legendary hits, bro. There's science behind those songs. Science, you just, yeah. you know, the average listener just don't know that. Yeah, they don't pick up on you that. You got what I'm saying? They just get the end result of it. You got what I'm saying? Like, so, um, right now, personally, where I'm at, it's not where I want to be at, so I don't think it's album time. But album time, right. eventually, it will be that time. For sure. You got what I'm saying? For now, For I'm sure. just dropping music and just trying to keep everybody, you know, entertained. 
Yo, I hope y'all taking notes. <laughs> like, I hope y'all got the pen, the pad. You feel me? And like, yo, because if you're an artist for real, like, that's yo, he's really giving game. Like, real talk. And even on a life level, too. Facts. Like, hope y'all taking notes, man. So, facts, facts. what are some things you wish people knew about you that they don't know yet? I'm not a mean person, bro. I feel like people think I'm a mean person, yeah. bro. I feel like I look yeah, unapproachable. I'm, I'm dope, he's bro. I'm guy. cool. I'm down to work with anybody. You feel me? I'm humble. I might look intimidating <laughs> or not a little, hum, not humble enough on Instagram. I'm, I'm a dope person, bro. I'm sure I'm down to earth. You got what I'm saying? I'm cool with everybody. You feel me? If, I love who love me. You got what I'm saying? I'm I'm just, I'm chill, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah. I'm birdie. You got what I'm saying? Birdie's yeah. birdie. Like, you got sure. what I'm saying? If you come around, you'll know for sure. For real. All right. So, um, what was the best advice you ever heard in your life? And why did those words impact you? Shit, bro. I don't think this is really an advice, what I'm about to say. I don't know how to put it into... Or maybe I could put it into like an advice kind of like sentence. But like, okay. bro, treat everybody like if they had a timer over their head. You got what I'm saying? Somebody told me this the other day. And when they first said it, I didn't really... You know, I didn't think much of it. And that shit really changed my outlook on what I what relationships I put my time into and what relationships I don't. You got what I'm saying? Um, you might be putting your your time into, let's say somebody got a timer, right? And your timer with that person is a year, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got person B whose timing with you is six months. And you're putting all your time into your relationship with person A that got a year, right? Their time is a year. Yep. But that person isn't benefiting you and they got no game for you. They don't help you level up. They don't help you do shit. Right. And then B, you kind of just disregard them. You feel me? And that's the person with all the game. That's the person who really cares for you. That's the person. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. So treat everybody like if they got a time in your head, bro. So you know what relationships um, you know, to indulge in and which not to. And that just helps you be a better person overall because... You know, you just, you're, I feel like for me personally, it helps you become more of like a, like a caring person knowing right. like, yo, my Consider time with you isn't forever. Like, true. you got what I'm saying? True. Like my time with you ain't forever. So let's make the best of it while we here. That's so true. You got what I'm saying? Because a lot of people act like we're here forever. And we're not. We're not. You got what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like I have an hourglass on my head. Bro, he has an hourglass no on his head. You no feel cap, me? bro. And the sand is... You it's got what I'm saying? Going, you feel me? And it's, bro, you not, bro, nobody knows how much time is left on that meter, bro. That's so true. Nobody. You got what I'm saying? That, so, you can't take things for granted. You got what I'm saying? So, yeah. and I feel like that just, that, you looking at shit like that just helps you ground manage, yourself. ground yourself, manage relationships, you know, better, and just be a more, when you're a loving person, bro, and you just vibrate, your energy vibrates through it, and you, feel me? you start attracting percent. loving people. Yup. You got what I'm saying? So I think it just it benefits you and, and like in the shits on the ways, bro. Yeah. So um if anything, I think that's my advice, bro. I think that's my advice to give. And I think that right now, currently in my life, that's the advice that has like caused the most I don't want to say damage, because damage is bad, but change, impact. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. Uh so what does the future look like for you? Like where do you see yourself in these next few years? Um, music wise, one of the biggest. Ooh. For sure. Let's get it. You got what I'm saying? That personal, bro. I want to have a family, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to have a family. I feel like coming from... I do, too. Honestly. You like, got what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I do, too, bro. I, I'm not I might lie. not look like it, but I'm a family man, I'm bro. I'm a family like, man, too, bro. That's that's something that I'm... Going back to the timer shit. Oh, yeah. After oh, getting yeah. that advice, I feel like I've been more thing with my family. Like, I've been wanting to spend more time with my family. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? Um, and cherish them more. A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent. Like I said, you just treat your relationships so much more different. That's so true. Friendship. With, that, with that frame of perspective. You got what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah, bro. Definitely music-wise, one of the biggest artists at a you know much higher level in my career. And um, like I said, personal, I want to have a family, bro. Yeah, that's I want cool, kids. Bro. I want I, I want a little Junie, bro. Yeah, little, little birdies. <laughs> little birdies. <laughs> that's for real, for real. All right. So now we're at the segment. 
of the level up questions, right? Okay. And in this segment right here, this this information that we're about to give is going to be for aspiring artists, right? Okay. Those who want to get started in making music and take it serious as a career. Okay. You feel me? And it's more than possible. As you see, we got this young king putting it all, putting his all in order to make it happen. You feel me? So let's talk to him. You feel me? Okay. So speed rounds. What advice can you give to aspiring artists? Just drop. Drop your music. Don't be scared to promote it. Put it out there. You you you're not gonna make it nowhere if the world don't see the art that you make and you got put it out. Just don't second guess yourself. Let's go. What what was the okay? Uh, what was the best piece of advice you heard when it comes to being an artist? Put the fucking music out. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> but you, you can't be an artist if you're not putting music out. That's facts. So you just gotta put the music out and believe in yourself. Is content important when it comes to making music and why? Probably the most important because apart from putting just the music out you gotta make the content you feel yep. me we're visual creatures we need to see you gotta you gotta make the content look good you gotta you gotta make us see the the the, the music you got what i'm saying pictures in our brain so yeah. very important what types of content can an artist do to show off their singles and albums that they make bro record yourself get a tripod stand on the corner rap Shit, go to people down the street, have your boy record you, telling people, yo, listen to my song, what do you think of this? It's so, bro, yeah, I could go on, right? yeah, I could go on days and, bro, just be creative, for real. What is the, what's the, what are the best studios to go to and why? Um, Shout out to Timeless Sound Studios in Brooklyn, that's my boy Dilo Studio, hits have been made out of there, um... This, yeah, well, what type of hits we talking about? Bro. What type hits, of hits we hits, talking hits, about? Hits, 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 you know, some of my own, you feel me? That ain't been out yet. Um, but yeah, Don Q has recorded the several boogie, bro, mad artists, bro. So shout out Timeless Sound Studios, bro. That's the studio I'm that's on the map right now. So if I more. search it up on Google, Timeless Sound Studios, you think I'll yeah, find it? Yeah, you, you, you should find it, or you could go on Instagram, Timeless Sound Studios, and the address is in the bio. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Um, how can someone okay? What makes an artist a good artist? And then what makes a good artist become a great artist? I think good, like you said, practice. And to be great, you just got to depend on this shit. Like, <laughs> yo, your life got to depend gotta... on it. Like, like your li yo, you got to do this shit. Like, if it's like, yo. 911. You, emergency. Like, yeah. I, that's, yeah, definitely that. You feel me? Like, like that fire under yeah, your you, ass. Yeah, right? like, you got to be different. Lil Wayne, I met Lil Wayne's engineer, old engineer. Said Lil Wayne used to force him to sit and Yo, he used to make like 40 songs in a night. I never heard some. That shit don't oh even sound goodness. real. He used to sit and when he would lock in, he'll lock in. And there's no removing him from that mic. He, the work that's ethic, why he's yo. one of the greatest. Because he rapped like his life depended on it. Feel me? So, yeah. Because you can't come up, you can't be the great if you're not doing if great shit. If you're not doing great shit, no cap. <laughs> like, no cap. you can't be, you can't expect, you can't just thinking that you're going to drop, like, well, record, like, five songs in the studio. Nigga, this is out. By the time no you're cap. on your fifth, the next one's on his ten. No cap. No you cap. But you feel me? It's levels. You start good, doing five, and you get to that point. Practice makes perfect. For sure. Tell us how someone can improve their songwriting skills and overall style and flow. Wake up every day, like J. Cole said, and... Right. It doesn't have to be. That's another thing. People think it just has to be music. Bro, you it's can write journaling. poems, just journaling, just just write. You feel me? Just yeah. work in that pen. Get in reps and just work that pen. Work that pen every single day. You got 30 minutes, you're not doing shit. You don't got a notebook, pen, pad, whatever. Take out your phone. Write something. You got what I'm saying? And find the melodies and flows. Don't overthink it. That shit will come. You feel me? Vibe with the beat. Ride the beat. You got what I'm saying? Don't force it. Just, just chill. Feel me? Yeah. What steps can someone take to build their fan base slash community? Um, just put out. The more music you put out, the more versatile your audience will be because there's a shit ton of different people in this world, you feel me, who like different tastes, sad songs, happy songs, drunk songs. What, you got what I'm saying? So the more catalog, the more music you got out, the bigger your fan base will be. Okay. And how can someone approach recording and producing their first song? Um, so I learned how to record myself. I don't know how to produce. I want to learn how to produce. Um, that's why I said, if you got a friend who makes beats, there you go. You got your beat. You got your producer. As far as recording, and if you do want to know how to produce, grab a fucking computer and teach yourself how to produce and how to record. Oh, YouTube is a thing. Yeah. 
YouTube is a thing. You feel me? Yeah. All you need is the softwares and a laptop. Doesn't have to be the most expensive. Just something that'll get the job done. You're just starting. All right. What are some common mistakes artists make on a daily that you see, and how can one how could one avoid these pitfalls? Not working on their craft. Not doing content. Not waking up to do what the fuck it is you got to do. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day you should think of a new way to. You're a brand, bro. You're a face. You're you're you feel me? You're the business. Find a way to scale your sales. You got what I'm saying? And that's putting your music in front of new people. Find a new way to. There's there's a shit ton of things you could think of on a daily basis on how to get better at get better at your music, whatever the fuck it is you're doing. Whether it's writing, thinking of new ways to market yourself. A shit ton. I could go on for days. How can someone protect their music and copyrights? Um, so there's websites for that. Um, you could literally look up copyright my music, shit like that. Um, there's a shit ton of websites, bro. Like, okay. You know, do you shit. know a few? I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, luckily, I have a team who does that. I have like management who does that. But um, right. yeah, that's important, bro. Um, also, websites like BMI, ASCAP, shit like that to collect royalties. Chump change mm. might be chump change, might be a lot of money on the back end. That you don't know It'll is there. Me. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So what are some legal tips you have for artists? Um, copyright your music to protect your music. Um, always have everything in writing. Uh, you got what I'm saying? Always don't do not do shit. If you're going to do shit out of love, make sure it's really out of love. You feel me? You write a song for somebody and that person pop off and you really gave it to them out of love. Don't come later like, oh, you didn't give me no bread off this song because you did it out of love. You feel me? So just... Treat shit if you if you really treat business like business and like I said don't put emotions or mix friendships with it. You know what I'm saying? Keep everything down the line. You feel me? What are some different re revenue streams available to musicians? How can someone monetize their music effectively? Um, so TikTok pays, Creators Fund, Creators Fund, Instagram pays, bonuses through Reels, um, through. The distribution platforms, United Masters, TuneCore, those all pay you for streams. Um, BMI, got to make an account on that to collect the back end royalties. It's mad ways, bro. This is the finale, everybody. Last but not least, what are some last words you have for your audience that's watching and supporting you right now? So for my supporters, I really do appreciate every single one of y'all. Whether there's a lot or a few of y'all, thank you. I appreciate y'all, you feel me? I wouldn't be doing this shit if it wasn't because y'all y'all the ones who keep me motivated and going every single day. Um, continue supporting, you know, continue supporting this rebrand and what I got going on. Um, and for you artists who, or those of you who want to be artists, yo, don't second guess yourself. Or anything it is you do, just, feel me? Do what the fuck it is you want to do without giving a fuck about what anybody else got to say. They live their lives. They 40 and 50 with, with regrets, living life with regrets because they didn't have, you feel me? They didn't have the, the, the drive to pursue their dreams. So they sick. They sick and they going to try to rub that energy off on you. Do what you do, bro. Get up, you feel me? And, and want it, bro. If you want it, bro, go out there and get it, bro. Hustle. Do what you got to do. And again, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Feel me? I appreciate you, Chris, for having me on here, bro. My brother. It means the world to it me. It was an honor. You feel me? Um, shit, dream chasers, <laughs> dream chasers. Let's get it. Hey, thank you, my brother, of course, for coming on here. Time. Thank you for your time. Of course, this was a great interview, one of the best. I will say so That's myself love. for That's sure. Love. Showed all the real transparency. Showed the real back end behind the character development. But try trying to become the best version of yourself while right. going while being a musician while handling heartbreak while handling all these things right you know i hope you heal through right. all of that shit my I appreciate brother you, bro. and come out the other side you I know appreciate you. swinging ready for the next yes ask, sir. Ready for the next challenge, you <laughs> feel me? to become great because what Bert, birdie right here i've seen him since bro he was young Literally, still in high bro. school that, uh... amboy high school charter school <laughs> we was feel me ivan like we was all we all saw each other come up and grow up and now seeing my brother you know going to the levels that he's reaching right now i'm nothing but proud i'm nothing but happy you know okay. seeing another brother that's dominican and boy right from jersey is like representing you know like it's inspiring to see you feel me he's putting in the work feel me and i'm over here looking at it and i'm like wow you know it inspires me makes me want right. to get up off my ass Love. you feel me and that goes to all the brothers that i see that you know that's Love. out here winning you feel me For sure. so 
Shout out to you, King. Again, you feel bro. me? Shout out I to you, King. appreciate you. Thank for you, For sure. Bro. Hey, listen. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow my brother Birdie at Birdie NYC. On everything. All platforms except TikTok. TikTok is who's Birdie? Because y'all might not know yet, but y'all will Ooh, one day. Know. What did you say in the beginning? You might not know me now. You know me? <laughs> Damn, I forgot how I said it. How was it? Oh, yeah, it's Birdie NYC. If you know me, you know me. And if you don't, you do now. No cap. You know me? <laughs> Listen, man, it's to the top, Chris. Birdie NYC. Let's, Let's level, level up. up. I'm actually, yo, I'm actually, I was just thinking about like, yo, Birdie, you're probably one of the best interviewers like I got, bro. I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. Bro, when it comes to deep storytelling and like the transparency, bro, like, yo, you're doing your thing, bro. Like, <laughs> like, and look. On some real shit, that's what's actually going to connect you closer to the audience. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, on a personal level. Like, yeah. They can actually relate to you, nigga. Yeah. I know for a fact some nigga right now is going to watch this shit and be like, damn, nigga, I was in the shelter too. Nah, nah. You feel me? Like, <laughs> like yo, real talk. Yo, and that's, yo, you, that's the first time I say that on camera. Nigga, like, yo. Bro, my thank friends you, bro. Don't know thank that, bro. you, bro. Like, no cap. Like, that's so fucking stuff, bro. Real, like, yeah, bro. No, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that, bro. A lot of people didn't damn. know that, bro. Two years, bro. Damn. Two like years that's not shelter, cap. Bro. That's Damn. like that's like my my mom. Like, bro, honestly, I think that's probably like, yo, that living through that, bro. Really Humble having you. a bro. We had curfew, bro. Like curfew. You had right. to be in the building by a certain time. Like, or bro, they that's lock you out, right? Yo, bro, that's wild, nigga. Like, technically speaking, bro, that wasn't even our. It was our home at the time, but it's like. That's not really your home. It's uh, like it's, it's like you telling me, yo, I'ma lend you my I'ma lend you my crib, bro. There's rules though. I mean, how anybody will you feel me? But would, you gotta yeah. be here by 10 p.m. My nigga, like Yeah, you're controlled. It's controlled. Yo, that shit is insane, bro. But if there's one thing I would say, bro, if one day Sammy the Super or the maintenance <laughs> guy sees this, yo, bro, you the man, bro. You feel me? Cause What do you do? Yo, believe it or not, bro, it sucked. I'm not going to tell you that. No, 100%. That was probably one of the most difficult times of my life. And if it was difficult for me, I could imagine my mother. Would you Would you say that was like the most uh, like lowest bottom point of your life? Around that age. Because I, like, I feel like everybody in their life has several like 100%. lowest moments in their life. Yep. You got what I'm saying? It's funny. I had this conversation with somebody the other day about how like everybody has a traumatizing moment in their life. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? And that traumatizing moment either makes you or breaks you. It do. It either motivates you or demotivates you. Or destroys you, yep. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever that traumatizing moment is. You yeah. got what I'm saying? Some yep. people either feed off the energy or it's just the pain of the moment is just so unbearable, unbearable that yeah. you just you lose yourself completely. Um, and it's easy to do that. It's easy to lose yourself. That's the that. easy route. That's yeah, what I'm 100%. saying. It takes a lot of discipline and a lot of discipline, really, bro. A lot of like encourage, bro, for you to be like, this shit hurts like a motherfucker. Yep. But I'm not gonna let it, I'm 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 not gonna let it stop me from mm. doing what it is I wanna do or getting to where I wanna go. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and so fucking powerful. Though. Being that I was I was around like seven years old, I mean at seven, I obviously knew what the fuck was going on. You got yeah, what I'm he saying? Wasn't dumb, yeah. Relationship issues with my pops, my moms, we in the shelter, my pops going to DR and shit like like it's shit you see, you got so that was definitely one of the traumatizing moments in my life. You know, one of the things that I think after that was when I was like, yo. Like, I, I want to get to a point in my life where, like, I owe my mom the world. Yeah. And I I, I, I feel that. You got what I'm saying? And and you're going to give it to her, bro. You're going to give it to willing. her, God willing. You got God what I'm willing, saying? Bro. God willing, bro. But, um, yeah, bro. That's, that's yeah. 100%. Yo, damn. I, I respect that, bro. Like, you're going to create one of the best. I was just telling this to, to Ivan, too. I'm like, bro, you might be going through it. You feel me? But you're going to be the one to come out on the other side and create the best story that anybody's ever going to hear, bro. For sure. One of the best, you feel me? It's like, who doesn't love a humble beginning story? Like, imagine you're watching a movie. If the, if the guy's already got the money, spoiled and shit like you that, really, kid, there's no character development. There's he's like no the man. villain in the story. He's like the villain in the Everybody story. Everybody looks at him kind of like, oh, he, he... Snotty. Yeah, you got what I'm saying? Or he's... he's what do they say? What, um, you're like spoon-fed, Spoon, right? silver spoon. Like, silver spoon, silver, silver spoon. spoon. Like, 
You got what I'm saying? So yeah, humble humble beginnings are definitely bro. And right. it's like and if you were to put your that that life on a movie uh, on a movie, feel me? Humble beginnings, coming from the shelter to then becoming one of the best artists in the industry, bro. Who's not gonna look up to that and get chills? For sure. Who's not gonna look at that and the hair's not gonna stand and up? And to tell you the truth, Chris, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this interview with you. That's fucking. You know, no. I know a lot of things about you know your background, bro. And you strong, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, you me, stronger brother. than me, bro. You, bro. No cap. Appreciate you got what I'm saying? And I I I don't got a hat on, but. <laughs> I took my hat, bro. Nah, I gotta do the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? I took my I took my hat to you, bro. It takes a lot Thank of courage you, to Thank you, continue moving forward how you have, bro. Nah, hundred percent. Me, 100%. So, yeah, bro. Like you said, we all have traumatizing moments. You feel for me? Sure. When I lost my mom's, for me, when I lost my grandma, my uncle, in like back to back years, bro, nigga. I I, I went like I used to have suicidal thoughts, bro. It of used course. to get it used to get like that. Imagine losing your rock. Feel me? Imagine losing the closest people next to you. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and 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 mind you, everybody's at a young age. I'm at a young age, nigga. Nobody's really gonna be there, be there for there, you like right, that. You know 100%. what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna be like, yo, Chris, cry, bro. They look at it like you too young, yeah. probably. He don't really feel. He don't really. They yeah, don't know. They don't bro. really process yeah. it, shit like that. I'm like, nigga, I, this is real. <laughs> you feel me? Like, nigga, this pain that I'm feeling, this shit is real, nigga. So it's like I had to go through the battle of like overcoming that shit by myself. Of course, don't get me wrong. For me, I had my parents there. For me, my, my sister, shout out to my sister Christabel, goddamn, my family and stuff like that. But nigga, when I say that genuine on a genuine level, nobody ever came to me, sat down and was like, yo, Chris, cry, bro. Like, let it out. Let like, it out, yeah. bro. Like, yo, like, yo, like, talk to me. How you feeling? Like, yo, nigga, I had to go through extremely, like, a lot of dark nights, bro. A lot of sleepless nights of just crying on the pillow, fam. I feel me? You feel, and like and like knowing that, like, yo, cuzzo, like, what do we do from here? Uh, you, you feel a, me? You a, you, a, you a soldier, bro. Appreciate you know, you, God, man, God give his battles to his toughest, toughest soldiers, soldiers, bro. Oh my God. One of the best quotes I've ever heard. And in my that's life. a fact. You feel me? So, bro, if he put you through what he put you through, bro, it's cause he knew you was gonna make it out, bro. Yeah, you feel bro. me? He, that's so true. he knew. He had the light at the end of the tunnel yeah. waiting for yeah. you. You feel me? And yeah. bro, it it, it it pushed you. That was, unfortunately, bro, it might have been the motivation that you mm -hmm. needed, bro. No, you it know did. what I'm saying? It did. The, the amount of knowledge, the amount of experience and wisdom that I gained from that is honestly priceless, bro. Bro. I'm going to be honest. It's honestly priceless. You feel God, me? God will let you and allow you to try to level up on your own. On your own, and he'll yeah. let you. And he'll let you. And he'll let you. And let you. Till it gets to the point where it's like, yo, my nigga, what I got to do to fucking motivate yeah, you, that's bro? That's so true. I'm, I'm trying so to true. let you find your motivation from within, but you're not going to... All right, my fault. I gotta do it for you. De esa, bro. Damn. Agarrate de esa, bro. My bad. I didn't want to do it to you, bro. Yo, I was trying to oh save you from God. this. Oh it's going to hurt. Yeah. But I know it's going to make you, bro. And it's going to push you to do what the fuck it is you got to do. You got what I'm saying? So, bro, chills right now, bro. Nah, no chills cap, right now, bro. bro. Nah, that's, that's yo, bro. Like I said, I, I took my hat off to you, bro. Cause you too, my brother. I took my hat off to you, too. It's tough, real. bro. You 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 a tough one, bro. For real, for real, bro. No cap. I'm grateful, my brother. I'm yeah, humble bro, for that. Of course. Yeah, both niggas from DR. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, like two brothers from DR, two Word young kings from to, DR. No you feel me? Like trying to get to it. Trying bro. to get to it, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like we representing, bro. Oh, this that shit is in our blood. We're gonna put on. We're gonna put on. We're gonna put on for our city, bro. We're gonna put on for our city, bro. No shout cap. out to Perth Ambo, New Jersey, bro. Shout that's what we're gonna put them on. We're gonna put them on, bro. For sure.